you uh what's up it's mike pence again oh my gosh he's back again it's so annoying why is mike pence going live again do the same thing he just did a couple hours well it's because i am bored bored couldn't go to a baseball game or no uh staying in tonight gonna go fishing tomorrow um and yeah i didn't decide not to build dive bar uh, but just gonna have uh, some fun. We're gonna listen to some Lorn again, 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 um, and play some Hell at Loose and have a beer. Uh, yeah, so we will go ahead and get started here. Have some little synth wave in the back. Hopefully, all the audio levels are uh, good. G O D good. Uh, so yeah, we're gonna start with one of my uh, one of my favorite calls. This might be the only call, I mean, honestly, because I think I mean, this is a two and a half hour call. I might go through it, but it is. Which one was it? Off of uh, Heelborn's channel. The infamous video of a, ra a very ragey Lauren. Uh, actually, no, maybe, maybe we should do something else. Maybe we should do. I don't know. I like that one. I like this one, but it's super long. So, I don't know. Actually. We could do it. We could do it. We could do it. We could do it. We can get through it, right, guys? I don't know. Maybe we'll do a lot of real life. Actually, let's see. The breakup call just came out. Okay, actually, no, let's do which one was it. I just find it to be a very funny call. Oops. So, all right, without further ado, let's get right into it. And ridiculous. <coughs> Excuse me. Let me just play the call. Of. All right. All is playing. Right. Have the audio turned down again, so it's basically most of the audio for. Good morning, my love. Yeah. Is everything okay? Yup, I've just been busy since I woke up. Why? Are you okay, my love? Oh, okay, just making sure. Yeah, I haven't really gone to bed yet, to be honest. Going to shut my eyes for a bit. Why haven't you gone to bed? Yeah, Damn, I... honey. This all night crap is getting ridiculous. And again, I texted you and I got up and again, you ignored me. Hello. <coughs> I'm awake now. My phone was having issues and I didn't know it because it was in my pocket. Okay. So what was with staying up all night until 10 a.m.? I just didn't, I guess. You just didn't what? Sleep. What did you do all night and morning? Hung out. Did you do any more shows? One more. Who was involved in it? Who do you think? I want to hear it from you. I asked you a question. I asked you a question. You're pussyfooting around it. I think it was you and MJ. I want to know if there's anyone else besides you two. I'm not pussyfooting anything. You still haven't answered my question. I told you I'm not talking work with you anymore. Then I'll talk when you do because I'm going to know what's going on. What? I want to know if there's anyone else involved in the show last night. I told you I'm done talking work with you. Then I'm done talking until you start telling me. I'm not playing that fucking game of threesome or foursome fucking bullshit. So if you don't want to tell me that it leads me to believe that what you're doing and I won't stick around for bullshit. We talked about this last night. We aren't talking about my work anymore, you can't handle it. I didn't study at all what I told you would happen if you fuck either one of those guys out of threesome or foursome with them. So I guess it's time to find out how much you and I and our future means to you. We went over this last night. I'm not talking shop with you anymore. And I told you what's going to happen if I find out you fucked them. And if it's on the internet then you know that I will find out one way or another. I want you up here with me. We can find a place that deals with your medical issues. You've gone downhill since you were being around MJ, and I'm done with you hiding from me. So it's time to find out how much you want us. Well, first of all, I told you why I am here and I'm not moving right now. The only reason you are saying that now is because you don't like what's happening and want control. How am I hiding exactly? Do we talk every day and night? Yes. You want me to stay going along with this shit with you and MJ then the fucked up bullshit drinking and staying up all fucked up bullshit has to end now. And if I ever find out that you fucked either one of those guys then we'll be done as soon as I find out. 
So you want to think real hard about the future and what's going to mean. You want us? You better start thinking about us again, because all I can see is you're thinking about drinking an MJ. You don't tell me my bedtime. I am an adult, I will go to sleep when I want. You hate sending me pics, but it's not a big deal if Will sees you naked. Are you fucking kidding me? Who the hell is your fiance? I've never heard anything from you, but you've not been the same to me. I'm the one spending $4,000 on an engagement ring, but it's okay. Yeah. That everyone else gets to see you naked. Give me a fucking break. You wanna marry me, but you can't even say you love me. Get rid of the fucking bullshit and be serious with me or tell me goodbye, because I'm not being treated like that anymore. What are you talking about? You go from bedtimes to will seeing me naked? <laughs> yeah, because you've been all over the place since you've been there. Then when you were drunk, you walked out of your room naked to get more alcohol. Not giving a fuck who saw you naked and not caring about how I felt about it. How would you like it if I behaved the way that you've been behaving? You would have wanted to take us backwards again. Yeah. Well, he's... And you might want to keep in mind that both of us have notoriety. And thousands of people are watching both of us and also know that people are itching to write me letters to tell me things. So if you it's fucked either one of those guys last night, then it would be better to tell me now instead of me finding out from someone else through a letter. Hello? What's with all this horse shit? <laughs> Telling you all straight, I'm fucking tired of the way you're being acting. Mm. I'm so fucking sick of it, Jamie, it's pathetic. Time you and your goddamn course. drinking, you and your goddamn drinking, you're fucking forcing having sex with fucking MJ all the fucking time. Me and you ain't had a goddamn thing since she's been there. It's work. Then you mentioned that fucking whole shit about a threesome and foursome with Jamie with a fucking MJ's boyfriend. And, and I said, what are you going to do, have one with Will Thurgood, can I? Are you fucking kidding me? Fiance. You better get a goddamn grip on yourself, Jamie. I'm all sick and around for fucking stupid bullshit like you're giving me. You think I'm fucking kidding? Try me. What? There's nothing about fucking control. It's mad. I'm not fucking living with someone that's gonna be like that to me. What is she doing to you, dude? Be like what? Like you, Ben. Fucking drunk and fucking Work having sex with MJ every goddamn fucking time you can. Ten o'clock today, are you fucking kidding me? Already? What a goddamn joke! You gotta get a grip on yourself with that fucking MJ. She, as far as I'm concerned, she's nothing but a stupid cunt. Jesus. I don't fucking like her. You haven't even been yourself since you've been around her. Here she wants you to have sex with your fucking fiance. Fuck you! Do you, you want to be like that? You can be like that with somebody else. Yeah, you guys are on audio. I'll give that fucking engagement to somebody else. You're gonna be like that. Fucking else. Think I'm fucking playing? I'm not fucking living like that. You really better get a fucking grip if you want to keep me. I ain't uh, fucking putting up that goddamn horse shit. Oh, actually, uh, fuck, I don't want to, uh, I don't want to fucking need that. So if you want to fucking kill me, you better get a fucking grip on yourself. I'm not living like that, and I'm not putting up that horse shit. Alright, let's get started. And you know that fucking thousands of people, like the message I just sent you, you know thousands of people are watching both of us. And if you fucked either one of them last night, you know goddamn well I'm gonna find out about it. You know that people are itching to send me fucking letters and contact me to tell me shit, anything that they can find out. Itching to find out. I think they don't know we are together, dum dum. <laughs> really? Emma doesn't know. Winnie doesn't know. You don't think them two are fucking watching every move both of us make? They can the fucking do anything that they can to destroy us. But you're the one that's destroying us. Oh man, he's nice. You and your fucking friend no, without having sex because you can make money off that fucking shit. I don't give a fuck about money. It's my job. I can live without money. My goddamn sure ain't gonna fucking cheat on my fucking wife. It's my job. It's your job. It's not your fucking job to have sex with her fucking fiance, and it's not your job to have sex with fucking Will. 
Because you're certainly doomed to do that. Regardless of how I fucking felt. The whole fucking time, you know how I've been up in arms about you and fucking Will. And you were still right fucking ready to fuck him. And you can only lie around the way I am. What? What? Yeah. You know goddamn what well what? <laughs> you shouldn't be fucking shit out, Jamie. We're gonna be done. Oh my god. I'm not putting up with stupid bullshit like that. You know that I've got in a hell of a fucking time dealing with just you and MJ. And you wanna fucking include one or two more guys? Yeah. My fucking ass. I don't fucking think so. You can do that with somebody else. What are these stupid threats for? Like, there was never any substantial, like, positive. It was just like an idea. Go to the fucking future with me. Better smarten the fuck up. They're not dealing with a fucking drunk ass. Fuck every goddamn guy there is. Well, you said in this conversation that you had an issue with just MJ. Yeah. I have an issue with MJ because she's just a goddamn ass. And you're nothing but fucking MJ all over the fucking place. Every fucking thing she does is nothing wrong. It's my job. And just as soon as MJ brings up a fucking idea, you love it. No matter what it is, no matter how much you can fuck me and you up. When she leaves that fucking moonshine in, you're all over that goddamn shit. Making you acting like a fucking jackass. She don't give a fuck about you. She gives you in fucking see you moonshine and your voice is all fucked up. That's a real caring friend right there. What a fucking good friend that one is. Tell me she gives a fuck about you. She cares about herself. Sounds like that's the only one she cares about is herself. More assumptions. More assumptions. Hey, I'm going off what I fucking see. She don't like me. I don't give a fuck if she likes me or not. Not anymore. Okay. Not anymore, you don't give a fuck. You've never given a fuck anyways, dude. <clears throat> All you've been is game for anything and everything that MJ wants. It's like you don't have a voice right. so you can... It's like you, when you're around her, you don't have a fucking voice so you can speak for yourself. <laughs> Who's talking? Fucking screaming. So if MJ says it, that's gonna happen. No matter how it makes your fiancé feel, it doesn't matter. MJ wants it. I bet you'd love if I didn't around you. Huh? I bet you'd love if I didn't around you. I'm like discombobulated with this game. You, you bet I'd love it if you didn't around me. What does that mean? Didn't have a voice around you. No, I don't want you to have a fucking voice. But not that kind of voice where you're fucking doing everything she wants, and where she's fucking trying to talk to you in the fucking her fiance. Then you fucking tell me even a world would be fine. It's work. They're not fucking professionals. They're not going for it. If you fucked them last night, we're done. If you fucked them last night. You know, one way or another, I'm gonna find out. So if you did, you better fucking tell me now. That's not how the conversation like went, the Lord. Thing, the conversation went... Okay, so it's like he's, like, threatening the shit out of her for, like, his weird insecurities. Like, I guess it goes off that conversation where it's, like, they're talking about three songs. And then, like, he comes in, and then I guess she's like, oh, you're gonna put Will in. And then she's like, can we? Like, he interprets it as, like, so he, like, has, to, he just interprets everything as, like, a huge negative towards, like, Jamie. Like, cause especially with the robot voice, like, he, how does he know what they, like, the inflections or, like, how they mean stuff? And he just takes everything so, like, 
to make him the victim and make Jamie the asshole. And it's just all to, like, control her and shit. It's so fucking stupid. And it's like, he, she never once said she was doing it. And again, all these, like, really fucked up threats against her. Like, it's so fucking insane. And I just love how this call you use the Church of Cod as, like, some sort of, like, catalyst. Like, it's so fucking dumb. Like, everyone is... It just further shows, like, he doesn't realize that everybody's in on it. Like, everyone is just a spectator. Like, no one fucking cares about him. Nobody cares. Fucking idiot. Honorable celebrities. Oh, like I said before, just don't date a porn star. And none of this is a problem. Like, he's a fucking registered sex offender in Maine. Balding old dipshit with no job, lives in a shack. And somehow he thinks he's gonna convince this fucking 25 year old, like, porn star who's just, you know, making a lot of fucking money and, like, living life as a 20 something year old. He's gonna convince her to, like, stop his entire life to come live with his abusive ass. Oh, fantasy world. I'm sorry, Mr. Warren. Alright. If, if I find out that you fucked him, then we're over. Okay. That's how the conversation went. Whether you want to fucking tell me about it or not, you know one goddamn way or another, I'm gonna find out. Ooh, so if you did, then you, you're better off to tell me now. Because Lauren says so. Again. How are you going to find out? You know those fucking animals would fucking write to me in a heartbeat. All of them fucking people. That's all they want to do. They want fucking word about me and about Are everything that's going on in me. But no, I don't even fucking talk to us. I don't even fucking know them. Yeah, when you sabotage. But you know, every one of them people on there are all fucking wanting to fucking send letters to me for some reason. I know something you about me. Slip there. Jamie, you're not stupid. All the fucking people on fucking Church of Cloud crap are all wanting to fucking send me letters. They're just trying to find out something, some reason to fucking send me letters. Mm-hmm. You're not stupid too because you've seen it and you've read it. Would like if you don't think that they know who I'm with, yeah, they do. No. He's like, he would be itching for a while. They're all fucking stupid, they find that shit out. I would love for that to be a thing. You know goddamn well that Winnie and Emma fucking tells them everything. Look at the poster of me right now. Why? Why? Look I'm looking at, at my it. face. I see your face, you're fucking beautiful. Do you think that's gonna stop me from fucking ending us if you fucked either one of them, them last night? How can you yell at me like this? How can you even fucking recommend <laughs> fucking another guy like this? Look at my when you're face. Engaged to me? How can you recommend fucking another guy when you're engaged to me? She's a porn star. I accept it as your profession. Man, totally I the fucking internet bullshit thing. What? You want to fucking make a movie? I accept it because you're doing it with a professional. But you was going to even do it with fucking Will. Okay, we will make a movie then. I mean, you, you go right ahead, but you won't have me. Okay, bye. Bitch. Boy, See how much you enjoy making that movie. Why? It's work. That's not, yeah, I mean, it's, it, it, it's, not, it's not the way it's fucking happening, Jamie. What is he gonna It's how work. Is, how can he stop that? Did you fuck either one of them last night? Did you fuck either one of them last night? Did when it, did my did profession you? become an issue? Did, it, you fuck it one did you fuck either one of them guys last night? Did you fuck either one of them guys last night? I'm gonna do a drink every time he says that, starting right now. Scott, Scott's on, I'm gonna take a drink. If anyone else is drinking. Did you, Jamie? He says, like, did you fuck either one of them? You knew what I did for a living before we started this relationship. Did you fuck either one of them last night? Look 
at my face. I'm not looking at your face. I'm, it doesn't matter if I look at your face or not. I want the truth. Did you fuck you the one of them last night? Drink. Oh my god, this is gonna be, I'm gonna be like fucking hurt. It's gonna vote tomorrow morning. Did you? I told you I'm not talking work anymore with you. And you're catfishing. You're not answering a question. You know what that tells me? It tells me that you did. Bass fishing. You gotta be better off if you tell me. Okay, Mr. Assumptions. Did you? You gotta be better off if you tell me the truth. Did you? Did you fuck either one of them last night? I told you I'm not talking work anymore with you. <laughs> you better fucking tell me, Jamie. I'm not playing the goddamn game with you. Did you fuck either one of them last night? I called to calm you down. I think I should have waited longer. Did you fuck either one of them last night? I told you I'm not talking work anymore with you. Um, you better tell me if you did or not. You know one way or another, I'm gonna find out. Tough guy, Lauren. It's gonna be better off coming from you. Shit. I have nothing to say. Did you fuck either one of them last night? Did you? I have nothing to say. Don't drink every time. Did you fuck either one of them last night? It's not a control thing, Jamie. It's not a fucking game of who's in control. It's a matter of I'm not gonna fucking live with somebody that's gonna be like that with me. Sorry. Oh shit. Did you fuck either one of them last night? Did you? <gasps> okay, how do you like say this so many times to someone? Like, it's my job to fuck on camera. Yeah, like. Did you fuck either one of them guys last night? Jesus Christ, dude. Shit. Shit. This is not a good spot. Like, he's literally just bullying her, and like, this is like really, like, this is abusive. Did you? Like, after like the first couple, like, minutes, like, our time's asking, you should just shut the fuck up. Or just, like, move on. Like, if he loves this woman so much, he'd, like, believe or trust that she's doing what, like, she's acting within the bounds of the Did you, Jamie? That they agreed on, I guess. I don't know. I think it's just fucking stupid. I was ham like, hammering her so hard. It's clear you think I did. Oh, look at that, right in my it's clear I'm asking you if you did or not. Did you? Asked and answered. Wait, no. What? That was a German. It's not an asked and answered. It's a yes or no answer. Did you fuck either one of them guys last night? <sighs> I told you I'm not talking work anymore. Stop going around the fucking question again, Jamie. You do this all the time. The question, Jamie. It's a yes or no answer is what I need. What do you need? Did you fuck either one of them last night? I'm tired of having to defend myself to scenarios in your mind. Exactly. I'm it's tired of fucking having to ask you questions like this. A scenario and you go over there on the fucking answer. Asked and answered. Yeah, it's just... It's not asked and answered. It was asked. It was not answered. Every fucking you, uh, question you ask me, I answer it. So what's your problem? The difference is she doesn't interrogate you about, like... Did you fuck either one of them last night? I wasn't to drink today, but you sure are making me want to. <laughs> Why, do you want to keep your record? That's doing you a lot of good. What record? Your record of drinking every fucking day for the last week and a half, two weeks. I Since you've been there. Bullshit. I haven't. And fucking moonshine. A real great friend you got for giving you fucking moonshine constantly. Constantly. I 
I wasn't drunk a few days ago, but of course Lorne forgot, so it's all the time. Jimmy, you do it so fucking often, how am I fucking supposed to remember when you don't? Dude, you, this motherfucker. Captain fucking sobriety over here. So Did you just fuck either say one of those I do guys. it all the time real nice. Did you fuck either one of those guys last night? I'm an adult and if I want to drink or stay up late, I will lawn. Did you fuck either one of those guys last night? Asked and answered. No, it's not asked and answered. It was asked and was not answered. Yeah, you just like take five seconds. Did you fuck either one of them last night? Here's the answer. I told you I'm not talking work anymore with you. Here's the answer to that answer. <laughs> you gotta fucking start working with me because I'm gonna know what the fuck is going on. If you fucked either one of them guys last night, you can forget us. Jesus Christ. And you know one goddamn way or another, I'm gonna find out. No, you're not. It'd be better if you told me now so maybe we could fucking have a chance of hanging on. Maybe a chance of hanging on? <laughs> Did you fuck either one of them guys last night? Wait, what do you mean a chance to hang on? I know, like, what does it even mean? Just like... Maybe, just maybe, I won't fucking take a hike. Why does it matter? Like, if this but is... But I want the truth. If the if, if, if relationship is based off of this, like, answer of a question of the porn star fuck two guys... Did you fuck either one of them last night? Probably should reevaluate. Well, that's just my opinion. <laughs> What do I know? I'm not a fucking cocksucker. Or no, I wouldn't be a cocksucker a lot, apparently. Because I make content. Why is this happening? Because you're making it happen. Wow. Did you fuck either one of them last night? Dude, these fucking ins It takes like a couple times of listening to these calls, like really deep dive into like the fucking. I have to work soon. Scene. Did you fuck either one of them last night? Can we move on? After you answer my question. Fuck me too, man. I'm alright. Did you fuck either one of them last Did night? Did you fuck either one of them last night? Did you? Answer the question. Did you fuck either one of them? If you ask me and tell me the truth, I'm not gonna leave. See, but we're gonna have a long fucking talk. See? He changes his fucking tune. Did you fuck either one of them last night? Yes. So you are you? regardless. I won't leave, but I want the truth. And I want it from you. Then what's the problem? A yes or a no answer. Did you fuck either one of them last night? I was working, can't we just leave it at that? No. I want an answer from you, yes or no. Why? Did you fuck either one of them? Did you fuck either one of them last night? Yeah, it's just a simple Why? question. And I wanna and if you did, I wanna know which one. Why? I've got my reasons. <sighs> I want a yes or no answer. I'd love to hear them. He has no well you will. Answer I get a fucking answer. Did you fuck either one of them last night? But then I won't hear them all. 
Did you fuck either one of them last night? Leaving, and I was working. What does it matter either way? You fucking are you kidding me? Did you fuck either one of them last night? <laughs> Let's just pretend I was all by myself working that way. All issues are resolved. No. no. I want the truth from you. Did you fuck either one of them last night? Oh shoot. Law 9 late, can we talk about this later? Nope, I want the answer now. Later, okay. No, I want the answer now, Jamie. Oh, he's gonna pout until he gets an answer. Okay, Did I will call you in a bit there. Did you fuck either one of them last night? Guess MJ wins again. Guess MJ wins again. Okay. Lawn. Hello? Lawn real quick. What? What? Olive 2. Huh? Olive two. He's just sitting in his chair fuming. Just what? Pissed off. Olive two. I can't hear what you're saying. I have to go. I'm trying to be quick. Okay, so what are you saying? Olive you. I love you too. Relax, bear. I'll be done in an hour or so, okay? Please calm down. I'm trying, but I still want the truth and I want it from you. Not a letter from someone I don't know. An hour or so, huh? Yes. Or so means some time. I just got out of the shower. Give me a minute. Hello? Pet peeves I have with all these fucking calls with uh, Heliborn, unsub from Heliborn. It's a fucking TV bullshit. The TV's so fucking loud. Like, turn it down. You're so inconsiderate. Then he like coughs and sings into the fucking microphone. I mean, I guess I do it too, but it's like so deliberate. I fucking hate it. Pet peeve. Oh, what's up, Heisenberg? What's up, buddy? Yeah, it's fucking... I hate that. I hate the TV bullshit. It's fucking worst. Trying to tell me about last night? We ran a bit late, sorry. Do you want to tell me about last night? No. Not really. Um. Kind of after that. I kinda have to. Not really. I don't have to, but you want me to. Wow. Yep, I do. Yep. Yep. That's nice. Yep. You already know my feelings about it. So I wanna know the truth. Someone ban. Please ban Heisenberg. Did you fuck one of them? We agreed no more work talk. Yep. 
No, we didn't agree to it. You said it. I never agreed to yes, it. Yes, we did. No, we did not. Sure. Did you fuck one of them? You said you couldn't handle it and didn't want details. Exactly. Did you fuck one of them? Is this how we are going to spend our night? Yes. This is what happened. what we're dealing with right now. Oh, ah, yeah. Did you fuck one of them? Lorne, can we please move on? No. No. You already know I want the truth. I'm not gonna find out from somebody writing me a letter. Okay, good night then. I wanna hear it from you. Okay, good night you, then. You not wanting to tell me tells me that you did. Uh, sorry, I sure mess with the audio level. Now tonight. Did it happen again tonight? <clears throat> You've already decided, so that's fine. Did it happen again tonight? Oh, see the night now? Ooh. Since the time yeah. that you, was on, you and I were on the phone earlier? See? Again. During the show. Happened again. Again. Did it happen talking again? about make-believe letters. Yeah, exactly. Did it happen again? Again. This show that you just had. Did it happen again? <sighs> so again. Tell me then. Tell me the truth. Stop playing a goddamn game with me. You've already decided, so why bother wasting my time? I haven't decided anything. You haven't told me anything yet. I want to know the truth. Instead, you keep going around it. Trying you to just me. said, did it happen again tonight? You already decided. Yeah, well, that, that's because you keep not wanting to tell me. So you not wanting you to tell me tells decided. me that it must have happened. Yeah, you... so stop playing a goddamn game, Jamie. You already decided. Did it happen? Did it, did it happen last night? Did you fuck one of them last night? Be right back. Getting champagne, I can't deal with this. Yeah. <laughs> I love this silence. The silence is like the best because you can just tell Lord is just seething so fucking hard at this point. Like he's just like just really just fucking pissed or just in his head just antsy waiting for Jamie to come back so he can scream. Either one. Mm. 
can just see that side of just like, just total fucking misery. She's like, oh. <clears throat> Then why does it matter? One thousand percent. One thousand percent. I want you to tell me the truth about last night. Why? Because I want to know the truth. Don't tell me it's any horseshit about people writing letters because you already know how they are. You aren't leaving either way, correct? <laughs> no, I won't leave. You I sure? Want the truth, though. Yes, I'm positive, but I want the truth. One thousand percent. One thousand percent. I promise you, I'm not leaving. I promise you, I'm not. Did you fuck one of them? Then why does it matter? Because it matters to me. I'm not going to find out some other way. Why? If you aren't leaving, we can just move on. No. I want to know the truth. I want to know the truth. And I want it to come from you. How would you find out another way? I just told you, you know that they will write letters. They're heartless. They don't give a fuck. You don't, it's they are looking you. for You're anything to write to me about. It doesn't matter. What is he talking about? Who's gonna write a letter to him? You already know this. If they are heartless, wouldn't they not tell you if it happened? Listen, will you just stop going around it? Just tell me the truth. Did you fuck one of them last night? Why does it matter so much? I was working. Come on. It was work. Come on. Come on. Come on. Did you fuck one of them? Did you fuck one of them? Why? Just yes or no? Did you? I worked last night. If that's what you're asking. Did you fuck one of them last night? Did you fuck one of them? Lorne, can we please move past this? After we're done with this. We can't move past it until we're done talking about it. Did you fuck one of them last night? I'm not going to want to talk much after this. Don't worry about it. Did you fuck one of them last Don't night? Worry about it. This is humiliating. It's listen. It's a matter of what we're going through right now. This is humiliating. It's what we need to do. This is humiliating. This is really like uncomfortable. You need to be honest with me. Dude, this is like Did you fuck one of them last night? They have never met in person. 
It's pathetic my fiancé is doing this to me. Don't, don't do that. Don't, don't do that. Don't call me. You already know how night. you... You already knew how your fiancé felt about don't it all. Do don't call me on Last night. Bullshit. What you're doing is you're telling night. me. You're Shit. telling me that you did. No. This is humiliating. Just forget the humiliating crap. Just tell me yes or no. no. Wow. Fucking so you did not fuck one of them last night. Forget the humiliating crap. Yeah. Forget how is you. That what you're telling me? Forget how you feel like violated. Just like just torn. Yeah. Just forget that. Don't worry about it. It's all about me. You tell me. You tell me. No, you didn't. No, I won't forget the humiliation you are putting me through. Listen, we need to get past this. No. In order to get past this, we need to talk about this. You need to get past it, bro. Did you fuck one of them last night? Are you gonna kill from that? Nope. Jamie. Adam. Going down. Hello. <laughs> Are you kidding me? What'd you do? Just pass out? Fucking inconsiderate he is. Shit. <clears throat> I can't, you fucking passed out and I can't do a fucking thing about it. Isn't that great? Shut the fuck up, bro. Such a fuckhead. Jamie, you gotta wake up. You have to wake up. I don't even know if you can fucking hear me. Dude, chill out, bro. What the fuck is wrong with you? I'm gonna hang up and call you back and hope it wakes you up. What? Where's our fucking squad leader? What happened? Did you pass out or what? Nothing, I put my phone down. That was scary. Why? Because you're fucking This is tired. humiliating. Honey, listen. It doesn't matter how humiliating it is. See, it's what you need to tell me. It's what you need to do for me. I don't care how you Yes, it does. It's what you need to tell me. Ukraine doesn't change the fact that you're gonna have to tell me. Wow, dude, fucking a-hole. It doesn't matter I made you make you cry. You fucked one of them last night, didn't you? Wow. Holy fuck. Which one? Good guy, Lauren, making his girlfriend. Cry. Why did you do it? Oh, now he's already accusing. He's already said she's done it. 
So she's done it. She's just crying, dude. It's just like, it's like, it, honestly, it's just like, I could just, in my, in my fucking head, all I can think of. In the show that you just did. <clears throat> it's like him it again. standing over her. I feel like beats her. She's crying on the floor, like, in a fetal position or some shit. He's just standing over her, pissed off. More pissed off. As it is her fault. Like, all this is her. That's all I can see if they meant fucking person. God, Jamie, where am I in your fucking head? She's sitting there crying, begging me to stop talking about it, stop, you know, everything. He just can't fuck off about it. Where am I in your head? Sorry, I sent a message from down here. Man, this is like this long pause is really fucking eerie, dude. They're so eerie, because it's just like, it's not Lauren taking it like we were, like earlier today when we did the video, where he talks about how he's like, oh, take a couple hours to cool off. Like, he's not cooling off here at all. Like, he is ready to pounce. He's just waiting for anything to, to respond. Anything negative that he doesn't like to respond to, just flip out of it. That's what he's waiting for. Always in for classic abusive dickhead. He is just standing over her, waiting, waiting, and waiting to react to something. What kind of hold does MJ have on you? Oh, well, see, and it's MJ. It's MJ's fault. It's the MJ. Dude, this is fucking scary, honestly, to think about it. What the fuck? Dude, this is like Lauren the kid. This, this is like the key moment for Lauren. Which one was it? Oh god. This is like when he should just like fucking chill, like call back, or like just like back the fuck off. Like clearly this is distressing making your fiance crying and upset, but you don't you just don't give a fuck. You give zero fucks. You're so fucking selfish and insecure and jealous and weak that you're willing to just sit here and like hurt her, abuse her for some fucking answer to your stupid insecure bullshit that you put up in your own fucking head that you fucking made up, but you took one little dig of like one little nugget. 
Regardless of the answer, you will stay with me, right? And it yeah. just ran with it. He just ran with it. Which one was it? Which, yeah, which one was it? Tell me yes or no, Wana. So it was a will. I don't know where my fucking squad is, but. Um. Go away! Shit. Oh. Someone's. Ooh, right there, that window. Right when we're fucking having a deep talk, somebody knocks on the door. This is Will. <laughs> yeah, I'm wanting to talk to Jamie right now. Yeah, what the fuck you do? Why are you making her cry? Listen, don't get in the middle of mine and her fucking relationship. Well, I'm telling you again. What the hell is wrong with you? Jesus this is between me and Jamie. He can't even She's her. trying to tell me something and she can't because you knocked on the door. Oh, here it is. She's just been crying. That's why I knocked on the door. She's been crying for like five minutes. I know. She's, wa she's wanting to tell me something and she can't. What? Why? What? Jamie, what's wrong? That, that is between what? Unfucking believable. Fucking pussy. He's such a fucking Hello? pussy. And I won't. I'll stop. All right. I'm sorry. Yeah. He starts screaming and cussing at Will. I don't like when you're blaming him. Okay. Blaming him. So yes, yeah, I'm fine. I'm gonna stay out. I'm gonna leave right now. No, fuck you. Okay. Fucking. All right. He spins Please such cheer a up, shitty gorgeous. Ooh, shit. Meredith. Oh, we got people right here. Hello. Hello. So which one was it? Which one was it? Neither you did. Huh? Neither you did. Neither one. You put me through all that so you could tell me it's neither one. <laughs> he put you through all You put me you through me, that. You put him you, you made me believe that it was one of them. Oh. Instead of just telling me that it was neither believe. one of them. No, the way you acted, the way you acted. is what made me believe that it was one of them. No, Lorn, you believed it. Jamie, there ain't none of this you fucking made it funny that way. There ain't none of this funny, fucking funny. Will you go about trying to... I agree, you are pathetic. Yeah, you are fucking pathetic. Why can't you just answer the goddamn question yes or no? Oh my god, here you The go. fuck is wrong with you? Make me fucking believe shit that didn't even happen. Put me through all that fucking bullshit. Fuck you too. 
do? Oh, my God. That's what you're fucking saying to me. You ask me a fucking question, I answer you. I don't play this fucking game. No, that's what you're Fuck your fucking to me, word games. Fuck your fucking word games, Jamie. Well, I ask you the fucking questions, I give you the answer. I did answer. I don't fuck around with you with words. Jesus Christ, dude. Knock your fucking whole shit off. You think that shit's fucking funny? You better stop your fucking playing with me. I don't find anything funny about you being down there with two fucking guys in your fucking act doing all this fucking sexual shit, but you don't want my mind doing the sexual shit. She's a fucking porn star. Stop fucking trying to play with me. Fucking bullshit. I'm not I need to get off you. I need Bullshit you're not! I need to get off the phone for a little bit. Fuck you. Yeah, he's got the phone. Fuck you. Hello. Fuck you. Hey, fuck you me all you want. I love you. Maybe we should spend the night apart. Oh yeah. I Maybe know. we should try to be on the phone and try to relax with each other. Relax with each other? I'll relax with some champagne. We can talk about something other than tonight. Oh, yeah. Sorry I have a job and I'm trying to make money. Something you can't say. Turning my phone off. How dare you? Oh, how dare me? I just screamed at her. What? No one, man. You don't need to do that. Let's just relax tonight and not even think about it. I don't feel like talking. Seriously. No. What? If you don't want to spend time with me, then fine. I mean, we're getting used to not spending time together now. I just love how he just plays as fucking victim. Though. It's completely up to you. Oh, now he's trying to make her. After you yelled at me, why would I? Exactly. I'm not gonna talk about it at all tonight. Of course you don't. You, you're we can talk about it tomorrow if you want, but tonight's not the time to talk about it. I'm gonna talk about just something different. Like what, dude? This is so fucking stupid. Well, like, it just happened, and I'm not really in the mood to talk about anything. Exactly, dude. What the fuck? I don't Get off the phone, you can. Call me back. My ears are, the are ringing from the screams. Love the sign. Uh, my ears are ringing from all the thoughts. Fuck you, dude. You're a piece of shit. I don't know what that means. Why are you doing this more like you can't. Since it was thrown on me last night. You can't accept any point of it. mind all day. It bothered me all last night and all today. Anyways, I just don't think it will be productive. Small talking about the closet won't be enjoyable now. Separation and abuse, how you know? Well, it could be if we can get our minds away this from game, that. Sorry, I didn't see the chat till just now. Uh, this game is a lot of fun. Really fucking hard. Definitely uh, a learning. Just appreciate me.
So it's a lot of fun. You weren't just screamed at. <sighs> Let's learn. Hold on. I was. In a way, I was. <sighs> Fuck you. Spare me. Don't spare. Don't, don't say spare me, because you could have spared me and you didn't. How are you going to be able to handle my profession? Yeah, this game's really good, so I'm You're working with professionals? Clearly you can't. When you're working with professionals, I don't have a problem. You say that, that now. Close, Definitely takes a long time. When it's somebody that close, I've got a problem. Definitely not a game that uh, you can just run and gun and like do whatever. You gotta really strategize and kind of. It's just. I mean, it's just a different. I just met John Michael Jr. Kind of Tryhards and shit, but. Tis it doesn't matter. You was game for if Will was gonna be on it, in on it. They can be pretty fast paced. You need to get a grip on this shit. You said someone close, I don't know him. So. A lot of fun. You guys are coming all out having a good time ready right now. Just for having this will in the background. Let me know if it's too loud or too quiet. I just want to be quiet. Music in the background. Well, also, Lauren. Lauren Lamb. If they're not a professional that you're not close to, and you can bet that I'm going to be throwing one hell of a fit. <laughs> the outcome of it it's a good, yeah, might not be good. It's a, it's a tough you clearly game. don't remember the conversation, but I find it pathetic your mind assumed I did it. <laughs> you led me to believe that you did. All you had to do was answer the question. <laughs> I didn't. We're getting right back into it again. I'm not going to get back into it until tomorrow. Do you guys have that? You had an answer in your heart. We no. My heart was telling me no, she wouldn't do this. What the fuck is my team? Lies. My squad's just dragging. The way that you responded that. is what was telling me that my god she might have done this. Omega Aber's in here, but then there's someone named Omega Raider in my game. Yes or no answer oh, was all oh, I needed. If you didn't think I did it, you would have dropped it the first time I asked you to. Exactly, dude. Like, fuck. I didn't think that you'd be all excited to have Will in on it. She you were. Again, that's how he gets. Again, again. See, so you just ignore my point. You just ignore my point. Jesus Christ. So we're getting right back into it again, and I don't want to get into it till tomorrow. Maybe you don't want to get into it tomorrow either. I'd rather just en enjoy time together. You clearly thought I did it and wanted to confirm your assumptions. I wanted you to tell me the truth. You wouldn't just come out and say no. Said you had to push me to, uh, to try to make me believe that you did. That's all in you, dude. What the fuck? It's blaming her for everything. What you would possibly get out of that, I don't know. Jeez. I didn't make you believe anything. Yeah, you did. Okay. Uh, no. All you had to do was. Oh, all you had to do was no. tell me yes. Okay, so if I was dating a porn star, right? If I was dating a porn star, I mean, that's probably not something I would do. Like, the only way that I would date a porn star. And this is not because, like, this is just personal preference. Like, be a porn star, I don't really care. It's not like, do whatever you want with your life. Like, I don't, I'm not judging. I'm just saying, for my personal. You know, I'm such a catch. <laughs> so many porn stars hit me up. No, I'm kidding. But, like, the way, I, the only way that I would want to date a porn star is if, like, they're, like, literally, like, my best friend with, and they have, like, everything in common with me. Like, my. Basically, my bestest, best, 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 bestest friend, best friend, like everything is in common. So they would be, they go out and suck cock, but come home and watch like Jim Rausch or some shit. Like that, that's like, <laughs> would be the only way. Um, you know, it's just like your bestest friend uh, in the world that you can do everything with. But even then, I literally would not spend my time like obsessing over their job 
Like, you're just gonna really make yourself miserable for the rest of your fucking life if you're just like. He's a t like he'd probably if he, the Lord had access to the internet and all that shit, he'd be the one looking all that shit up just to cry. Like he'd watch the like he'd watch like Jamie, Jamie get like gangbang or something, cry about it, and then like complain that like she looked like she enjoyed it too much or some shit. Like oh it looks like you you like him more than you like me, just some weird shit. Like I feel like that's what he would do. So yeah. At the end of the day, it's like, just, just don't do it. If you literally can't handle sex or whatever, like, just, just stop. Just, like, don't fucking waste your time and waste that person's time. And, like, pretend that you can, like, man, damn, I like, almost made it. Like, you just, like, I, I don't know. It's just fucking weird. I've had friends that have dated sex workers before. Slash strippers. I mean, they're just like whatever. They don't really care. Um, <laughs> I don't think it was you know, obviously long term for them, but I mean, they did it. But you know, I don't know. It's just fucking weird for me to like sit here and like think this guy is such a fucking problem. He's such an abusive dick. <sighs> I guess he's a typical insecure asshole that would date sex work. I don't fucking know. Anyways, I'll shut up. Yes or no? All you had to do was tell me yes or no. I had already told you that everything would be fine. All you had to do was drop it. No. When it's something like that, it can't be dropped. It can't be just dropped. You want to know the truth about something? I'm going to tell you. What makes you think we will enjoy anything after you the way you treated me? Yeah, I don't really eat popcorn either. Honestly. I don't know why somebody ate popcorn. When you want to know something, I'm going to tell you. I'm not going to put a bunch of words in between to tell me, uh, to try to Assuming make me... Assuming I'm a whore and just fuck it. anyone that asks. Yes. Listen. You was ready nice. and game. You was game for Will last Ooh. night. You was all set and ready you to do what MJ... Up. You was ready to do what MJ wanted you to do. Getting fed up with her bullshit. You don't Tell her remember her shit from ideas. the conversation last night. Yeah, oh, I do. He's such a fuck. Yeah, I do. Fucking nuts. He's a fucking nuts, yeah. Holy shit. I couldn't even b believe that the question was thrown on me. Okay, quote, what happened about Will? I get pissed because you know, she wanted you just in the to have a threesome with her fucking fiance. I said, next thing you know, you're gonna be fucking one willing on it. Here's a can we? I couldn't fucking believe it. Incorrect. You said you'd want will involved. No. Jamie, don't tell me what is incorrect and what is correct. I was there. I know what was said. No, I'm the one that said it. So was I and you forget shit constantly. Exactly. That's been on my mind all day. I could not believe your reaction to it because you know how I have felt this whole time that we've been hey, together. Will really loves fluffing men for Jamie. He even moved in with her. That's, I said can that's he. Loving your job. <laughs> that's funny. You're not fucking wrong, you cocksucker. You fuck one of them too? You think that was supposed to be better? There it is. Now I was ready to jump on the change, the robot's tone is hard to pick up. Oh, but not in that instance. Go figure. Look, I had the best, uh... <coughs> well, I was ready to jump on the chance the robot's tone is hard to pick up. Oh, but not in that instance. Obviously not. Go figure. 
Oh, I, I couldn't believe it. It was ever even thrown on me. I cannot believe that question was asked. Whatever I'm doing. Why, you don't want to spend time with me? Or did you already spend too much time with me? Is so Maggie Joe about ready to call you? What the fuck, dude? She fucking... Like, she fucking told you, dude. She's not gonna want to fucking talk that much after you screamed at her and made her cry. Like... I don't know. Oh shit, my fucking chicken. God damn it. That's probably burnt by now. Not tonight. Why would I spend time with you after you screamed at me? Jimmy, if you don't feel like you want to spend time with me tonight, they don't. What planet do you live on? I'm not going to keep playing this shit. MJ and will don't yell at me. They must be so much better than me. Because you sure give them a lot of fucking attention that you don't give me. I got my chicken that is... Like till 10 o'clock in the fucking morning. Long do we talk every day? We got what, maybe two hours yesterday? So Drew. How many hours did you give them? You stayed up 12 hours past what you and I talked. No, I just love how, like, he has to, like, be in control of literally, like, all of the time that she has, like, every second of the fucking life, it seems like. I don't know. It just seems fucking ridiculous. Like, he's controlling every single fucking aspect of her life. He, like, doesn't understand. Like, he just thinks it's, like, A-OK, -okay, normal bullshit. Like, fuck that. It's so fucking stupid. Like, you didn't, you went to sleep at this time, you did this at this time, like, like, who fucking cares, dude? Like, you're not there. Like, she still talks to you all the fucking time. Like, she still talks to you. Every fucking day when she has a chance to talk to your boring, dumb ass. Like, I think she said, I think in another call she said, like, you know, you, you just get mad at what you don't have. Like, you, you're given X, Y, and Z. I get, no, you're given X and Y. Which is better than nothing, but you just demand Z plus a bunch of other stuff, and if you're mad when you don't get it. It's just like this need for instant gratification and satisfaction 24 7. It's fucking nuts. To hang out with them, spend time with them. Uh, I don't think they're not. So if you feel like you need to get off the phone with me so you can go hang with them, go do it. I'm not stopping you. Now you are pathetic. Yeah, whatever. <laughs> whatever. Whatever. I just got killed on my own. That's my fault, though. I didn't get as much time as the others. Well, mommy's sister got two cookies and I only got one. Exactly. Wine, wine, wine. Wine, 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 wine. wine. Oh, she's so sorry. I'm so upset about that. I mean, you only live with them. And you're only engaged to me. It's like he, he sees marriage proposal and like marriage is like ownership. We he's talk like, every oh, fucking yeah. day. And I text you all day long and it's not good enough. Exactly. How much did you text me today? You don't get attention for one day and you throw a fit like I a know. child. It's so fucking stupid. They don't get attention for 20 minutes. They don't get attention for 20 minutes. They come knocking on your fucking door. What's the matter, Jamie? What's the matter, Jamie? Because she's crying. You she she made her fucking cry. Come down here, girl. I was crying, you moron. You 5,000 viewers. You have 5,000 viewers. Come down here. So, this is the this is what I, this doesn't make any sense to me. It's like... Like... Jim Roush. R-E-U-S-H. Okay. A teacher. What do you do, Jim? 
Uh, I work for uh, the University of Cincinnati. Hold on, is it gonna... Will it pop up? Jim Roush, R-A-U-Z-H. Okay, alright. The teacher. Up? What do you do, uh, Jim? Do uh, I work for the uh, University of Cincinnati. Why did it not pop up? That's fuck, man. Well, thanks again, Roush. I mean, I almost said Roush. Thanks again, Fama. I'm just, I don't know why it doesn't fucking pop up for me. Like, I heard it, but it doesn't pop up with Jim waving his arms in the air magically as he describes his genitalia to police. So, I really appreciate that $10, man. You can take that money and shove it your fucking ass, your Italian sausage! Nah, thanks, Fama. Love it. Oh, you gotta head out? Um... Gotta go. Alright, well, dude, Ghost of Pharma, thank you so much, man. I really appreciate it. Um, not sure what happened over at TCAP Gaming. Oh, yeah, I don't know. I guess he's doing something. Um, yeah, Will fluffed all the men for the gang, man. Yeah. Um, so, what was I saying before? Oh, yeah, okay. So, about, like, relationships, relationships and shit. It's like, if you're engaged with somebody, like, I don't understand, like, the necessity and, like, the need for constant communication like that like bond and trust is already fucking there so it's like you know i don't need like i don't need to be talked to 24 7 like i've told mrs pence that like i'm okay i don't need like if you're busy you're busy i don't i understand like we both have lives so it's like we try to talk every day but it doesn't always happen which is fine it's just what happens when you're you know you're in a relationship or you're engaged or you're married like so it's just funny how Lauren throws about engagement and love and all that shit, but like, he can't like go two seconds without freaking out about not being communicated with, and just his mind goes in the worst spots. It's like, that's clearly not love, it's just control. And as I said, he sees marriage as control and ownership. So, like, there's no like, independent especially for long distance like you have to have that independence like you should you can't feel like you need to sit there and like validate your partner's feelings 24 fucking 7 especially for lauren who has no fucking life so that validation is every fucking day it's fucking pathetic okay thanks again fama if you're still in here so thanks Um, how much of the interview was Roush technically sleep during? Probably at least like 20 to 30 minutes, I'm, you know, at least, so yeah, I think he was. Oh shit. Alright, I'll stop rambling, but fuck, this guy's an asshole. You're saying I hear click, gotta go. MJ's calling me. God damn it. Fuck off. Enjoy your night, Craig. Enjoy what no time feels like. Hello. Thank you. Uh, ah, fuck, you're black. Okay, quality time, you are going to complain if I don't spend hours on the phone. What do you have? I wasn't going to complain at all. Yeah, you were. I'm just going to let you have your night. You always get. You were you, you yes, you dipshit. No, I'm, I'm a bad guy. Yes. Remember? You are. What? I was just gonna let it go tonight and not even. I only got two hours. How many did they get? It doesn't matter, Jamie. If you want to give them 20 hours of me for. You said it, Lorne. Whatever. I'm just drained of it. Oh, you're drained. When would I sleep, moron? Well, when would you sleep? God forbid you you go to bed at one or two o'clock in the morning. Instead, you gotta stay up till ten. I, I mean, that's kind of weird, but. Oh God, Lorne, setting my bedtime again. Exactly. Oh. oh it happened one time, so there's an issue. It happened once, so there's an issue. Yeah, there clearly is an issue. Awful hurry to get off the phone with me last night. Fuck's sake, you are pathetic. You was in an awful hurry to get off the phone with me last night. 
dude, you guys are like, I don't remember the conversation, but Suma's probably boring and dry, and it's like, she has a life to live. You can't. You don't, I'm not gonna make you spend time with me tonight if you don't want to. I had to work, idiot. Do you know how jobs work? Maybe you forgot it's been a while. Got him. You really care to go there? What does that mean? She's got the upper hand, dickhead. You don't want to go there. That's why I didn't respond to you. You clearly have a problem with when I had to leave to work. You won't shut up about it. I didn't mind that you had to work. I didn't, didn't, that didn't bother me at all. Yes, you did. There's no one that stayed up to 10 o'clock in the morning. And, and I quote. Any sleep at all, so whatever. Good lord, bro. You're... And I quote. Quote whatever you want. You rushed off the phone last night. That was minutes ago. Are you a goldfish? Do you forget what you just said? Mm -hmm. Nope. Hey, he does. He just says shit to say it. Doesn't fucking. There's no substance to his fucking words. Especially when he's bitching, complaining, making fucking problems with his love. Then tell me how you expressed you didn't have a problem with me working last night. Shit. Didn't have a problem with you working last night. Sniper in the window up there. Was it rushed off the phone part? It just irritated me that when MJ calls. Was it rushed off the phone part? When MJ calls, MJ you go. What's up, Allison Marie? What's up, Majestic? What's up, MJ uh, has, Anthony a, in here? has an idea. You What's think it's on? great. Yo, what's up? Warren can never face brings face moonshine, face you just can't place. get enough. Oh, of course you would. More misery on- yeah, it'd literally be misery as a movie. I don't find MJ to be all that great of a friend. <sighs> Fucking asshole. What part in your statement did you express not having issue with me working last night? I seem to have a hard time looking and it's Maggie Joe cunt. Nope. Whatever. I'm done arguing for that, I'm drained. You don't even know her. Well, as far as what I've seen her do, Stop doing... Stop talking shit. As, well, as far as what I've seen her doing, it hasn't been very impressive to me. <laughs> Says the fucking registered sex. You I'm haven't there. seen anything more on. Oh, boy. A yeah, well, in a shack in the fucking woods of Maine. Really? What, like, I don't understand how he thinks he has a leg to stand out with anybody. So when they say the same things about you, are they right? Yes. I don't bring you alcohol. Oh, so when they say <laughs> the same things about you, are they right? I don't bring you alcohol that is strong enough to start a vehicle with. Was that the question? No, that wasn't the question. Well, you don't like when I go it. around your question? I wonder how that feels. Don't answer, then I'll just start listening to them about your abuse towards me. Yeah. <laughs> a little fucked up all there, right, all right in the middle of our fucking relationship. Dude, I gotta stop this for a second. I gotta, I gotta, I gotta, I gotta vent just for a second.
Okay, I love how he does the whole like oh they bring he, they bring you booze bullshit. Like, <coughs> isn't he the idiot that would barge into Tony's house with beer and get drunk and be a fucking asshole? Like every time I've heard him at like Tony Fama's house, he just sounds like a fucking asshole. And like some of the times he'd have some like really weird perverted sex jokes and shit. And like he, with the audacity, has like talk shit about Wendy, like Tony's Wendy. But like, like I would be appalled if I had some registered sex offender in my house, like making like fucking sex jokes and shit, and then talking shit and getting drunk in my house. Like, no fucking self awareness. So, but then the thing with the moonshine is, I I don't like I don't know if it's ever specified, but if they're in Nashville, which is ten shy, um. Like, what's big down there is, like, Tennessee whiskey. Uh, one of the big, I think it's called Smoky Mountain. Um, it's a pretty big, like, moonshine thing. Because I remember going, me and myself and Mrs. Pence actually went, we're in Tennessee a couple months ago. We actually drove close to where Dustin lives. But, yeah, there's, like, the big thing down there is moonshine, but it's not, like, fucking backwoods moonshine like i have people in my extended family that do that not that type of moonshine but it's like more of like a commercialized moonshine which is i'm assuming is what they need but i could be wrong so obviously lauren doesn't know that lauren has this picture in his fucking head because he has television of just like death moonshine that's you know jamie's drinking but it could just be the stuff that you can get in the stores because it's pretty tasty it's like 40% alcohol, so it's just like a, you know, generic white, not generic white, but generic, you know, liquor. That's what I think in my head, but I don't know. But yeah, it's just funny how he uses that as an ammunition. Like, people in their 20s drinking is pretty fucking common. Um, and he should be more sympathetic, which he's not, which is fucking stupid. Again, more fucking control. And again, he has no concept of friendships because he doesn't have fucking friends. Like, they're not in the middle of, like, her fucking relationship. They're trying to make sure she's good. And his constant abuse of her and giving advice is definitely not him, them being in the middle. And as I said before, it's... Unless it's good stuff, he doesn't want anything to do with the friends. So, they get in the middle if it's inconvenience to him. Like, you know, like, say, fuck him. But it's fine if they're just like, oh yeah, you know, Lauren's great. So, calls. Oh shit. Damn it. You can make statements about my friends out of your ass and it's somehow fact. statements yeah. about your behavior are unfounded. What's up, Richard? Got it. Is really gonna, you really going to say your friends haven't been in the middle of our yeah, relationship? Hi, Mr. Did I say that, moron? I hear you all the name going. <laughs> Shane's holding it up. Dancing Hear what you want, room. what's new. Drew or anyone know why TCAP Gaming Stream said it was shut down? Um, oh, that's why you guys are all here? Okay, okay, I see how it goes. You guys all want to go see TCAP Gaming, okay, okay. Alright, alright. I, I love guess. you, Jamie, and I don't want anything to come between us. People talk about their relationship to their friends. You guys Just because you don't TCAP think I should doesn't you. mean it's fact. Then you want to come to me? <clears throat> <laughs> I get TCAP gaming sloppy second. Oh, really? So mm -hmm. talking to me couldn't help that support? Instead of going and talking to your friends, and Good Lord. when they hear you crying, when they hear you crying, they, they come knocking on your door and you come in your room. Yeah, but when they know you're on the phone with your fiance. Hold on, let me read that.
I love you, Jamie, and I don't want anything come between us. People talk about their relationship to their friends. Just because you don't think I should doesn't mean it's fact. <clears throat> it's cool <called> support. <laughs> Oh, really? So, talking to me couldn't help that support? <laughs> Instead of going and talking to your friends, and Good Lord. when they hear you crying, when they hear you crying, they, they come knocking on your door and you come into your room. But when they know you're on the phone with your fiance? You aren't going to isolate me. I'm not trying to fucking isolate you. I'm happy as hell that you have friends. I just don't want them in the middle of our relationship. My friends are supportive. Just because you don't like their opinions doesn't mean they should be silenced. And that's exactly what you want. If they're supportive, then them talking shit about me is not being supportive. Oh, you fucking idiot. Right like you talk shit about them. Exactly. Honey, I didn't bring you moonshine oh. and, and it's strong enough to start a fucking vehicle with. So by your own logic, you are not supportive. Fuck, well, I didn't bring you moonshine. I didn't bring you moonshine? Seriously? What the fuck? Right, Why don't listen, you... say what you want more exactly. of. Exactly, like what the fuck does he just do? No, I'm supportive. There's, there's, there's some things that I'm not gonna support. No, you aren't. I already told you what I was supportive of. If you don't want me to talk to them about my relationship. Talk to them if you want, but Jesus Christ, they don't need to keep putting me down. The only one that knows me a little bit is Will. Like you put them down. Well, fuck since you've been there, you've been doing everything that MJ wants. Well, well, we all. You didn't tell me that you haven't. You have. No, I haven't fucked face. Yeah, you have. No, Mike Pence, I sort of fucked I choose to drink more on. My first pick, the only channel for me. Yeah, Moonshine. Bullshit, hey, That's a Armstrong. good one to bring fucking to you. Bullshit. Real fucking great. Don't, you gotta fucking prove it. Well, he got swatted for nudity by a coward. So what, machine. that's Strongest my choice, idiot, idiot, my fucking choice. Streams, Strongest alcohol fucking alcohol you can possibly get. So what, get. that's my choice, idiot, my fucking choice. Drew, yeah, your nice, fucking choice can destroy us. How much so think about your fucking choice. When did you go to sleep last night, Drew? When did you go to sleep? Stop blip. Because I don't think we spent enough time together. Stop blaming them then, idiot. We didn't spend enough time together, Drew. I don't, no, I don't, well, I don't feel the love. They don't seem to stop bringing it to you. <laughs> I'm kidding, you. I don't care. Watch it. And they don't seem to Jesus tell you that. Jesus Christ, you are so no, fucking not. pathetic. Oh, Jesus Christ, Amy. Stop calling me fucking pathetic and all this other bullshit. No, it's cool to see more channels popping up, more people. You are know, pathetic. I don't care. Yeah. Whoever comes, well, you are too. Home, but How do you like it? I don't care. Have to blame someone. No, I know. I have to turn to the fucking alcohol. We need to push. Okay, so we gotta be careful. So we gotta push down to the left. I turned to the alcohol before too, Jamie. Oh, yeah. It wasn't Jamie's like choice to drink better blame MJ because I don't like her and want her out of the picture. Mm -hmm. As I said, you are pathetic and be a man. I didn't say that I want her out of the picture. Well, then what do you want? Yes, you did. Shut up. 
I don't want her. I didn't say I want her out of the picture. Okay. She's your friend. That's fine. I don't have a fucking problem with her being your friend. You do. I do have a problem with her bringing you fucking moonshine. All you've done is done what Maggie Joe has you... wanted since she's been there. Uh, yeah, you have. Why is it... And I have a problem with what her fucking... Shit. And I have a problem what with her suggesting... Shit. Stop trying to fucking what talk over me. Shit. Oh, you go ahead and fucking talk. If you don't want to hear me, I won't fucking talk. And then you can just fucking run your mouth. I'll bring the mic with you. You called her cunt and don't even know her real nice. She's done nothing to you and you talk shit. Real nice. I chose to drink the moonshine, I could have said no, but no Lawn needs to blame Maggie Joe. That's what I'm saying, it's just like, he doesn't think she has a creep. Real nice. Actually, let me, I'm gonna cut the music, might save some, uh, streaming. Alright, we cut the music. Huh. See? Alright, that might help a little bit. And I get a little laggy, so it might, um, I don't know if the stream is gonna mess up at all. Let's play pause so far. Hold on. Uh, okay, so fine. But I wasn't, I was like, the fuck? The fuck? And I asked Maggie Joe to do shows with me to make money because your lazy ass is still unemployed. But it's Maggie Joe making me do things. Get real. Grow the fuck, um, yo, you are pathetic. Got him. If my stream cuts off, I'll restart it. So don't uh, don't think I'm cutting if it cuts off randomly because it cut off ra randomly earlier. Uh, if it does it again, I'll just restart the stream. So hold on to your butts. <laughs> your gravy train ends soon. What's your plan? Get alone and live off that. <laughs> Are you actually you asking me a question, want me to talk now, or <laughs> you're just going to talk oh, over me again? You're such a, he's such a piece of shit. Right, I'm going to start studying the You don't respond to anything I say, Lorne. You ignore what I say, I talk about what you want. Does it? Doesn't matter if I respond, you talk over me. Yeah, well, I deserve it. If I'm talking, you start talking. You aren't addressing what I said. Just because you don't want to hear what I say. I'm going to start studying the hazmat book. I'm going to take care of the ass and get my hazmat. And in the meantime, I'm still going to look for a doll, too. But even when I have a job, you still don't want to come up yet. I chose to drink the moonshine. Here's your response. Well, clear. Maggie Joe brought it. Blaming her, grow the fuck up. Okay, sorry. Okay. Maggie Joe brought it. She sees that you're drinking the moonshine that much, and they get concerned about you. Yet you she were goes supposed off to get hazmat months ago. Is this the asshole who's got a DUI? I just addressed another What's thing the delay? Said, you started talking over me again. What's the delay? Just can't fucking stop. He's, she's surrounded, like... He was supposed to get hazmat months ago. ...who take care of her. What's the delay? The, but Lauren is just so hateful and spiteful, he can't you gonna just... gonna knock it off? He can't just, like, allow it. Because he's never Considering had Considering I just got the book last week. Everyone treats him like shit. There's nothing I could do about it when I called about it before.
Right, it took months for a book to show up. Are you joking? Don't be a smart ass, because I told you when I called them that they were closed. I don't you know if you remember this, bullshit. but COVID-19 was happening. Stop talking you know over me. Bullshit. Whatever, Jamie. I ain't playing this fucking bullshit game. You want to fucking run your mouth to me constantly. Right you don't want to hear shit about what I You're the one playing games, dipshit. Yeah, whatever. What's yeah. up, sloth cat? Ain't that funny how I let you talk? But you don't want to let me man. talk, so Good stuff. Good you stuff. just continue talking. I'll just listen. Soft cat boy, up, bitch. Floor is yours. Let me Go scream ahead. at you all night. Mm -hmm. Let's have a good talk right. now. Are you fucking stupid? Go ahead. Playing fucking games. You're playing fucking games. You don't want to hear me talk. You want to keep you talking are. with me no matter what I say. So you there are. you go again. Because you're just there you go again. shit, bro. You're talking all this shit, but you can't even take... It's like he literally... You are taking over me, moron. Yeah, he's like, talks all this shit, but then can't handle it. Don't work. Comes back at him. I can't imagine, like, having someone, like, making, like, a lot of money, and then literally having some fucking... Pedophile, unemployed pedophile talking shit to me. Who's like saying all this dumbass shit to me? I love you. If I didn't love you, I wouldn't give a fuck about you drinking moonshine. Oh, okay, that's stupid. That's fucking weird. But I do love you, so I do give a fuck about it. Like, he has no money or a job, and she's making all this fucking money, but he just, like, can't. I pushed play before you started talking, then you bitched about me taking over you. I have a delay and your Neanderthal pea sized mind can't remember that. Really? Okay, and I can see you push play? Fuck, I knew it, I knew it. Good right, guy. but assume I'm day. talking over you on purpose. You are so fucking pathetic, it's always me right. Never lord. When, when you repeat yourself when I'm talking, you're intentionally doing it. Just assume whatever you want you do anyways. Such a life I have to look forward to. Jamie, it's not about control and who's sure, right you'll be wrong. going through my phone every day. Of course you would. Why the hell would I do that? I do trust you. Don't tell me I don't fucking trust you. No, you don't. Just had a little conversation last night. No, you don't. It was very, it was very bothersome. No, you don't. Yeah, I do. No, you know you know goddamn no. well I do. Yeah. You know I do? No. She just said no. What I don't trust the decisions made on moonshine. Ooh, so then don't don't walk back your fucking big statement of trust. Like, oh my god, fuck you. God, this game is so fucking. If you trusted time. me, then you'd have dropped the argument the second I said move on. I know it's like you look like a suck this game, but it's a very tough game. No. But you think I'm a whore. No, I don't either. You know goddamn well I don't. Yes, you do. When I I don't know why I have to keep saying this. When you ask me questions, I answer them. I don't give you a runaround. No, you don't. I answer your questions. Yeah, I do. I don't give you the runaround like you gave me. You give the runaround. You stumble. No, you give me runaround constantly. 
when all it is is a yes or no answer. Hey, Lorne, when's the last time you vacuumed? Well, we could have fucking been... This, the, this whole fucking thing could have been done in fucking three seconds. Yeah, it, for you. I started pulling the carpet yep, up it's today. all my fault. Not Lorne for assuming. Got it. Lorne wasn't assuming anything. He was waiting for you to tell me. You fuck, dude, oh, yes, okay. you did. Yeah, he assumed multiple no. times. And then said that he'd already had it. Lorne asked you. Okay. Oh, God. This guy's such a fucking... Because you already had I did it in your part. Nope. Because of the question that you asked me last night. And I knew you were drinking. Like, he said multiple times. He's like, which one was it? And then, like, did you do it again? It's like, yeah, you obviously assumed that she did it. You can say no all you want, moron. You just admitted you thought I did it. No. No, I didn't. Yes, you did. Yes. No, I did not. <laughs> yes, you did. But I asked you. Yes, because you did. Because of the question that... I asked you... Because of the question that you asked me last night about Maggie, Maggie Joe's idea, and plus you were drinking. That's why I asked you. So then you assumed I did it. Why would those done, factors be there if you didn't think yeah, I did it? Good, I, I did not I mean, assume I anything. I asked you. Yes, you did. No, I did not assume anything. Yes, you did. No, I did not. I gave you the benefit of the doubt. <laughs> no, you didn't. I didn't believe that you didn't, that you would do it. No, you didn't. Yeah, I did. You see how hard this game is? It's just, it's so fucking hard. But because the idea came from Maggie Jo, and you, you can't say no, you want Lorne, I'm not time. stupid. So it's hard to, like, listen to Lorne, just like. Because the, the idea came from Maggie Jo, Bullshit. And you asked me, Bullshit. and you were drinking. I wanted to know. Like, I'd rather, I feel like I'd rather be a soldier in World War II than, like, have to be in person with Lorne. As a good partner. <laughs> you want me to calm down? <laughs> you will never convince me otherwise. Why does the idea of it coming from Maggie Jo change things? Because it was Maggie Jo's fiance. That so she wanted what? to get in on it. So I couldn't believe that. Shit. Sorry, I'm shut up. How does that factor into you giving me the benefit of the doubt? <laughs> this game, uh, so much fun, but it's just You like... wanted me to calm down when you went to do your show. <laughs> I can't spawn there anymore. You asked me to calm down. I've and I tried so hard to calm down because you had me all worked up because you wouldn't answer my question. All you are doing questions. is providing me with proof you thought I did it. Holy Christ, again, you're not letting me talk. You're talking over me. Talking shit, dude. You can't blame it on the push play button because I was already talking. You wanted me to calm down when you went to do your show. And I was trying so hard to calm down because... All I wanted was an answer. I just wanted a yes or no answer. And it got me all worked up because I was like, fuck, she's not fucking answering me. So something bad happened. What? Otherwise she would have just answered me. How does this prove you gave me the benefit of the doubt? Exactly. Because I gave you the benefit of the doubt before you ever even went to your show. No, you didn't. Yeah, I did.
You clearly can't Everyone. remember or who okay. He's, oh, he's, he's just talking properly. Shit. He just says words as he says them, and then that's why he doesn't remember anything he fucking says. Jimmy, why is it that I don't do anything like right? I, said before, I keep in saying the fucking thing. No substance, anything. Like, like he remembers shit when it it's, has some substance in it. Like he actually gives a fuck, but. All sort of dumb shit he just says. It's just it's in one ear. Well, it's not in my eyes. It's proven in your actions. It and it's gone. He can't even fucking remember. Right. Motherfucker. Time and time again. Right. I am right. Well, of course. Oof. Not even gonna argue about it. Worked on. So stupid. It's <coughs> like peak worn shittiness. He will never admit to anything. Is he crying this far? I forgot. My bathing suit is an issue. My bedtime is an issue. My crop top is an issue. My friends are an issue. When you don't have that to fall back on, it's the heat or you're tired or some other horse shit to not have your actions come back on you. Cries, this will be cries. happening are you crying I'll leave you alone just tell me what's happening I'm not about, doing anything like, right. Fishing trip. I'm gonna mute, but I'll be continuing. You to never play. tell me anything that I do right, and it's always stuff I'm doing wrong. I don't like playing word games. Just one answer. I love you so fucking much, Jamie. I'm not fucking I'm drained right now. Lorne, when you present me with constant negatives, what am I supposed to you? In not playing word games. If you trust me, then you wouldn't worry about me fucking other people. I have... I have to... I have to worry when you, you know, when you present me with what you presented me with last night. Then all I wanted was a fucking answer from you today of yes or no. I didn't want all this go around shit. I 
would have believed you if you would have just told me no. I said it was an idea. I didn't say it was happening immediately, but you assume I saw a cock presented in front of me. I can't control it and had to take it for a ride. No, but it was Maggie Joe's idea. Anything Maggie Joe is so fucking great. You can't say enough about Maggie Joe. More assumptions. It's not an assumption. Isn't she so pretty? Isn't her tits so nice? She is pretty. Isn't her singing so, isn't her singing so great? You just can't say enough about Maggie Joe and everything about Maggie Joe is great. Meanwhile, I'm fucking shit. You said she was a good singer. Yes, she is. And pretty. Yeah. So doesn't mean that issue? I have to hear you. Doesn't mean that I have to hear you constantly fucking say it. She's your ex. She killed a polar bear. <laughs> and she fucking walked on water too. I mentioned her being pretty twice and her singing maybe twice. What are you talking about? You mentioned it more than that. No, I haven't, T. Yeah, you have. You might only feel like it's been How twice, many but times it's been then? More. It's been a lot more than twice. Name the times. If it wasn't, I wouldn't, it wouldn't bother me so much. Name the times. Drop it twice. I'm not gonna name the times. Stop I already because asked you stop I already asked you to, didn't I? Stop telling me to name times. If it was only twice, it wouldn't bother me. But it's constant. Then stop saying things like all the time. Jamie. Like how I stayed up until 10 a.m. one day and someone how this is a constant issue. Do you see how your mind works? Do you see how you're getting worse and worse all the time with it? Just the day before you stayed up to... Right, ignore what God I said. Uh, back at it. I missed. Did I miss anything? I don't know. I don't, even, I don't even want to talk about it anymore tonight. Okay, let me just like... Drain from it, I don't want to fuck about it. I missed the crying part of the phone. Sorry, my buddy was calling about fishing tomorrow, so I had to answer real quick. Are you still crying? This is what you do. You ignore what I say and talk about what you want to say. Motherfucker! Constantly. I'm drained from it, and I... I'm drained from it, and I don't want to talk about it. Fucking crying, game. Oh my god. Just drained from it. I just don't even want to talk about it. Like, yeah, you're drained because you fucking couldn't outlast Jamie. See, he's emotionally drained because he doesn't get what he wants. 
So now he's drained from it. So, yeah. Exactly. I know I love you unbelievably, and I'm Shut up. tired of feeling like I'm, like I'm shit to you all the time. So what if NJ is pretty and had a great voice? I listen to you sing all the time. This is what I don't understand. I text you all day and call you every night and it's not good enough. Exactly. And how often are you putting me down? You have to compare. How often are you putting me down? I haven't until you screamed at me tonight. Exactly. Yeah, deep side of like, oh fuck, she's right. <laughs> Haven't I done this map? Silence. The, the fact that you can't face any criticism reflects how you were raised. Now, there's a lot of like. Oh, I was criticized all the time. Okay, before we get into the story, though, let's start. It's funny, like every like his like the silences that he has are fucking hilarious because like they're indications of like he knows he acknowledges like he acknowledges when they make a point because usually his silence is like when. The catfish or whoever makes a point that makes Lauren look bad, but it's like irrefutable. Of course, they put this fucking thing here so they can't get around it. Oh, that's great. Fucking wonderful. But um, anyways, yeah. So it's just it's just hilarious because you know he has silence, so he has to like deflect to go to something else, and she literally tells him like. You know, just because I say that she had a great voice, like, you know, I listen to you sing, I text you, I call you all the day, and it's not good. So, instead of acknowledging that, you know, okay, yeah, you're right, and he's like, no, it's, you know, but you, you insult me. Like, dude, seriously? But, uh, then she's right, it's like, you can't take any criticism, like, you're here to, like, talk all this shit all you want, and, like, how the fuck am I just going to get through this? Um, that's weird. But yeah, I don't, sorry, that was just strange. I don't know what the fuck is going on with that, but yeah, it's, so it's just like, he can't take any sort of criticism, and like, when he's confronted about it, like, this is what his, this is what he goes to, this is the story he goes to. So stupid. Just because I didn't play basketball my eighth grade year, you be fucking guy with that one. What? Nothing I'll talk about some long time I want to talk about it right now. Basketball eight years. I was in eighth grade. Is that criticizing me just because I didn't want to play basketball that year? I started putting me down and everything. Oh, best friend second. turned into be not my best friend. Just because I didn't play basketball. Sixth grade year, I played. They didn't. Because they didn't make the team. Seventh grade year, I started half the games. They played basketball, but they didn't start. Eighth grade year, I decided I didn't want to play. All of a sudden, I became a piece of shit because I didn't want to play basketball. Share another two hundred dollars. She's paying half, and I'm paying half for the 
fee for the deed. For the records of the deed. So it can now be transferred over. Why aren't you paying all of it? Because she's supposed to pay for half and I'm supposed to pay for half. Just a question, not a slam. Because I, that's what Aunt Sharon told me was that she needed to pay half and I need to pay half. I guess because it's transferring from her name to my name. Same thing when he transferred from Uncle Clay's name to Aunt Sharon's name. She has to have Uncle Clay sign something too, I guess. I don't, I don't know what it was, but she said she called Uncle Clay and got that all taken care of. Be a week or two before I got actually got the lead. This is the paperwork. Mom had her first meal from her garden last night. Told me, told me about that. She was all happy about that. She says, "No, I didn't even need to bend over to get to pick him out either." So what are you doing with the deed? Nothing yet. I haven't got it yet. And what do you mean, what am I doing with it? Probably put it in, in the safe. You seem to want to get a loan. Yeah, I know, but when I, I talked to you about it, and you just, we can't really get along right now. Your wedding's going to take a lot of money if we need to fucking take a loan out against the land to pay, partially pay for the wedding, then that's going to have to happen. I'm hoping we won't. Hopefully I'll be able to write something good for songs and... stuff done on this house that but I won't take a loan out to do that because it just costs more. So I'm trying to do everything that I can as, as fast as I can by myself. That's why when you mention things it's like fuck, I gotta concentrate on that too because Will your mom grow onions? Huh, she already has. She fucking grows onions and beet greens is what she had last night. Beet greens. To blend for a drink, yum onions. yum. Oh god, yeah. She grow. She definitely grow fucking onions. Hell, we can grow the garden right out here if we want, I think. God knows we get an acre and a half, so there's plenty of land to grow in the garden on. Mm -hmm. Uncle Rich used to have a garden out here. 
and he was alive. He lived here. And we can grow a really good garden because I know how to grow gardens quite well. Just for that to use cow shit. Seriously, the fertilizer. Makes the food taste better. Trying so hard to get everything done. And I know everything needs to be done, but sometimes I get overwhelmed by it. I'm just fucking. I feel the same way, but it just can't happen right now. I have my appointment next week. You mean tell me how it goes? Maybe. Honey, come on. It's the stuff we need to be sharing with each other. That's why I share everything with you. Break up with me if it's bad, so I think I'll keep it vague or not tell you. No, no. Listen. I asked you to marry me. Alright, I'm back. Sorry, guys. I'm buying you a $4,000 ring. There's not much of a chance that I'm going to break up with you. There's only a one chance that I would break up with you. You also That's said we'd be done tonight after assumptions. You already know that there's only one way that I'm going to break up with you, and that's if you ever cheat on me. Yeah, but you think everything's cheating. I've never hidden that from you. That's just something I can't handle. Well, work isn't cheating. No. Work is not cheating. With Maggie Joe, she's a professional, too. I understand that. I am fine with that. That makes it harder because she wishes your eggs. But if they're not professional, then, it, then I consider it cheating. Fine, we will fly someone in. You just can't be happy with them. Why? She can get COVID 19 all over again. Oh. watch the news lately? You see how many states are in the red? There's very few states that are not in the red. And I think they're right all up here in the northeast. Like New Hampshire, Vermont, and Maine. You are worried about COVID now, but we're demanding I get up there today. I mean, exactly. If you were 
appear uh, next to you and nothing. Don't worry about it like you do it See how there. selfish that sounds. Exactly. Yeah, fucking right, I'm selfish. I want you here with me. I'm in love with you. Why would I not want you here with me? That's not healthy. That's not healthy to be in love with you? Thanks, so, right. I found it to be very healthy. No, what I said, dum dum. Well, what did you say, dum dum? You are worried about COVID now, but were demanding I get up there today. I hate these stupid fuck. Well, I was upset. Areas. See how selfish that sounds. Well, I wouldn't even. That's think not healthy. That. Yeah, but I would have snapped out of it. Oh, of course. See the sequence. He talks all this shit, dude. I've never heard someone talk so much. But he just talks so much shit. I'm just pointing out what I said. You got lost. Jamie, I'm in love with you. I'm in love with you. I want us to be together. Do you? It really sucks for me because you're down there. And even Tennessee is in the fucking red. I mean, there's literally very few states that are not in the red right now. He's like using. Like, this was. There might be one or two others besides Vermont, New Hampshire, and Maine Wait, that are not in the red. July of twenty. Okay. So then, what's the issue? Would you rather I be in California still? Yeah, I mean, no. Like, He's just using this whole straight ridge. No, exactly. I don't, he doesn't know. I definitely don't want you in California. I feel like he doesn't. Oh, shit. That state is royally fucked up right now. So why can't you look at it like this? They had like four, I think it was 4,500. Sick. 360 no New cases guys. today. 360 no oh. I saved my other partner. Like, I don't think he, like, gets the actual concept of COVID and shit. I'm, I'm lucky that I was able to get here and the help I need before I the second wave, instead of what you are doing. He, I don't, I just don't get his, like, I just, like, feel like in his fucking 87 brain, he has some weird I know. Like, rationale about what COVID is. But I also worry because I don't know when Maggie Jones. So Joe why can't do. you look at it that way? Because I also Sorry. look at it as, I don't... Because I also look at it as I don't know where Maggie Jo goes to and comes home. I don't know where her boy, where her fiance goes and comes home. That's how I look at it, dude. Yeah, that's 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 like a very controlling paranoia thing, honestly. Do you think we are dumb and can't take care of ourselves? No, I don't. Then like you relax. Weren't dumb before. You weren't dumb before either, and you got it. Dude. Will wasn't dumb, and you got it. I can't see All these I, I just hundreds see. of thousands of people have... They weren't dumb, and they got it. Exactly, so why sick. give yourself a heart attack over something you can't control? Exactly. I mean, I got fucking COVID from work. I didn't have a because I didn't, I didn't I'm, up, I'm upset because I asked you to come out here before. Do you see and what I'm so saying? Much, I so much wish you would have came out here before. I know, I see what you're saying. Okay, enough of the selfishness. I'm being a medic, which is such a nice thing in me, right? I'm such a nice person. Well, nice listen, person. You understand what I'm me. saying, correct? It took me 49 years to find you. I don't oh, want to lose you. God, that sounds You understand crazy. what I'm saying, correct? Oh my god. Yes, I do. Teammate, dude. Fuck. Okay, you understand good. what I'm saying, though. You understand what I'm saying, right? It took him 49 years to, to find her. I don't want to lose her. That's like... Literally the most hallmark bullshit I've ever heard in my entire life. Yes, but the selfishness has to stop. I'd not, I try not to be selfish. 
I'm here for a reason. I try. I don't want. I know, but... You already told me you'd stop the drinking and only drink champagne. I can't speed up the process and my mental health is low at the moment. I, I know what it is. And, uh, that's, uh, I don't know why you won't listen to me with, about it. You know that the drinking... Just be understand and not talk down to me. You know that alcohol Please. is a depressant. I'm not going to talk down to you, honey. I don't want to talk down Stop to you. I love that. the time that we, I love the time that we spend together. But it, it upsets me that you know that alcohol is a and you still, uh, you tell me to stop with it, but how can I? Shut the, yes, yeah, just stop talking. See, so your mental me, health man. is low right now. Fuck the alcohol so doesn't help. You don't I'm an adult, I know what it does. Okay. I use it to cope and it's I'm helping gonna, just drop it. I'm gonna step in here. No, so I love how he gets on his fucking high horse. Like, this is like kind of like the bullshit back when um, the whole like Roy drinking thing. I like to remain anonymous. My name is Lord Armstrong. My brother's out drinking and driving. It's the same bullshit. It's just like this guilt that he has on himself. So he, whenever he can like use it on others, he does. And it's so fucking stupid. Like, She's telling him, like, please just stop, like, like, stop pushing me and hounding me about it. After you've sat here and screamed at me and yelled at me and just made this miserable, like, he's part of why her mental health is terrible and, like, shit. And instead of just, like, chilling out and, like, backing the fuck off, you know, he's gonna hound her about drinking. I'm like, yeah, but, again, the guy had an OUI and for a month, probably drunk sexted or not I guess sexed with Kayla. I don't know if you consider him sexting with Kayla. And then obviously with Molly and other girls, like all that shit. Like he's been such he has a huge track record. So for him to sit here and like talk at her like the way he is is fucking stupid. That like he's like, oh but I've been there, you know, so I understand. But it's like yeah you're you're not like empathetic. You're more just like talking at her down to her in a sense like i understand what I, I i get that so it's just fucking stupid how he's trying to fucking paint himself as like this guardian angel of like i've been there and done that so i'm just here to no he's just he's just trying to use anything he can to like control her and make himself feel better and make her fucking feel lowly about herself rachel you told me to shut the hell up you fucking kidding me? Yeah, he's just talking mad shit. Like, it's just so fun. It's just, like, she's telling him to stop fucking hounding me about it. Like, just stop. And he's, he can't. Rachel's telling me to shut up. Alright, fine. See if you I... want me to drop it and not give my opinion and... See if I fucking... And let you know that I'm, I'm cutting back all right. That makes me feel better. Yeah, it makes you feel better. And especially if you left the moonshine alone. Control. Control, control. Okay, stop stressing me out. I already have. Huh. Alright. Thank you. <laughs> I like it when you're classy and drink champagne. What? Okay, I need to lay down on drain. Me too. Are you gonna go to sleep? Okay, I'll try no promises. Wait, you, you'll try no promises what? What? That I'll fall asleep. Okay. Okay. You gonna fall asleep with me? What? So are you gonna fall asleep with me? I said I don't know if I'll fall asleep. Okay. I mean, with.
از می آمسان I just want time to decompress. All right, I understand. Good night. I love you. Olive two. Thank you, honey. I just took a couple of pics for you. Do you want them now or in the morning? Sure. Sure to which? Now or morning? Oh my God, dude. Now I guess. Okay. What happened? What one from when I was mad earlier, right before you called me, said fuck you, then hung up? What happened to what? Yeah sure, let's see it. I actually took and I was going to send it to you just to let you know how I needed to calm down, but before I sent it to you, you called. Okay, let's see. so fucking draining. The tank just like fucked off, the, the, fucked off upstairs completely. That was an enemy tank too, like that was a fuck tank. Some was that the only one you took? Access. Peter looks like a sad cat by re Lol. What? When? At that time, no, but it was the best one. Why? Do you want all the ones I took tonight? Oh my god. Peter means my cock on eight. He's soft and sad in that pic. Ew, what? Don't call it that. It's gross. Yes, dear. Wait, you only took one, but it's the best one. No, I took a bunch to try to get the best ones for you. Oh, really? Yeah, let's see some of the guts. LOL Good shots there, Toe Good flank mm, I just took this one The traitor is lying on the floor on your side of the bed That's all of them, honey Oh, okay I see why now Hee 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 LOL Did you like the one where it looks like I'm poking you in the eye? Ew, what Not the really fuck? I like to see It was a close-up look LOL Oh, okay Proceeding announcement when at that time yeah okay so there's that call oh my god that's that call was fucking so fucking bad oh my gosh that was a very rough call. i'm gonna keep going i'll play another one but i just want to like decompress as jamie had to oh my god that was a lot so he went from like screaming at her about having sex with other guys um which never happened to blaming her for his like abuse to crying to talking about a basketball story when he was like 13 that was completely stupid then him being like drained and like oh i don't want to talk and then he like begging her to fall asleep with him on the phone like a 50 year old fucking man like I feel, just like i feel like i'm in high school again middle school high school um that's fucking weird he has like the emotional intelligence of like a child, like a 13 year old. Like ever since that basketball story happened, like he never emotionally or mentally grew out of that. Like he just always was going to be at that level. So I took that call. It is fucking crazy. All right, let me crouch in the field and put another Lorne call on for you weirdos. What's up, tra Chatterbait Billy? Should take up photography. Oh god. Yeah, the pictures. I think. I think the pictures, and then like the producing the child, like the child porn thing. Like I think that helped him out get more years, because he like had the camera, and then he was like, "Oh, I'm gonna take pictures when I have sex." Yeah, it's just fucking. All right, let's do. Um... Anyone has a request? Anyone have a request? Request? 
Let me give you guys a couple seconds. If anyone has a request for a call, they'd like you to, to play. Or I will play a call. Actually, my team's talking, so I'm going to make sure they don't uh, kick me out, maybe. Let's see. Yeah, so let me know if you guys have an interest in a call. If not, I'll just play a diff like a random one from the Robot Saga. I haven't found the Robot Saga. I didn't listen to the one that just came out. There was another one. I think it was like If You Like Me or something. I didn't I didn't get the chance to see that yet. But uh bought. Yeah, I didn't see that one yet. Uh, okay, I'm gonna hunker down. If anyone has a request. Uh yeah, I'll just I'll just play a video because you wanna shoot now or later. Alright, let's just do this one. Right I this is uh, 120, 21, I want a real life. Hashtag unsub. My left eye feels better. I'm still having a really hard time with my right eye. Are you feeling a little better? And what voicemail are you talking about? I flushed my read out of out. And it's feeling better now. Still hurts a little bop. I think it'll be okay by the end of the day. Freaking Truck is inspected. The voicemail you left me last night. Why I sent the question mark. I don't remember leaving you a voicemail. Oh, was what time was it that I left it? it like it's quite possible I was asleep and dreaming about you. No. I woke up some mornings and found text that I typed to you that was just gibberish that I didn't send. Uh. What did the voicemail say? Oh, so I guess the voicemail wasn't for me. Probably someone else. <laughs> I don't dream of anyone else except family and close friends. I've never woke up and found that I typed any message to anyone but you, Roy, Paul, and Will. I'm positive that you'll catch me talking in my sleep too. They bought us some tickets. You're being a rather quiet, aren't you? Are you feeling okay? Hello. Hi. Hello. How are you? Whatever. What's the whatever for? What was the attitude for? You know, you never answered my question all day. That's how I feel. Why? Why? Because I couldn't remember the voicemail last night. You do remember how bad my eye was hurting, though. So you do remember how bad my eyes were hurting, don't you? Okay, so I think from I think I've listened to this call. Right? Like the voicemail from like the night prior was just him being like, "Oh baby, I just want to eat your pussy out. I just want to eat your pussy," or some weird, creepy bullshit. After they had like a pretty lengthy conversation about Will and how, and like definitely didn't end on like a good note. Um, also, it's very fucking disgusting and creepy. Like I would. Never I would never fucking leave a voicemail like that. Never fucking do that. It's disgusting. It's perverted. Oh, Mrs. Pence would definitely kill me if I did that. Anything that Lord Hamlet has done, I would be killed for by Mrs. Pence, so. No one would ever do it, so. Maybe, maybe the, uh, the 7,000 cop picks. I might do that. Just, just, you know. Just to make sure that some, you know, Mrs. Pence knows I love her. <laughs> but no, I, I think that's I think that's the voice they're referring to. I think they like there was a couple text messages that went back and forth because she was like, "What the fuck is this voicemail?" But yeah, I think that that's the voicemail in, 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 con, yeah, in context. So. Yeah, baby. Um, let's see who else we got. It took those screenshots of game. Uh, most of Maine is the deep south up north. It's Maine. It's just backwoods, yeah. Literal asshole pick. I literally couldn't see. The only the only way that I was able to even send you a message to let you know that my my eyes hurt and ask you to call me if you could call me was because I knew where the where the letters were on my phone because I can do it all with my thumb. So I've memorized where the letters were. That's the only way I was able to send you a message. I literally had to 
I, I was squinting so bad. My eyes were stinging so bad. I could barely even open them. What's it do the voice? They were now? watering unbelievably. The voice is a lot easier than text messages. Even right now, they're still hurting. They're just not as bad as what they were last night. When I texted you at 12 or 12.30, whatever time it was, I went in, <clears throat> after I sent you a message, I went in and took a shower, trying to make my eyes feel better. Oh, the whole building. How fucking stupid that? How stupid of you? Well, they're fine being? now. I, I thought about sending you one last night. It was my... No, wait, wait, hold on. How stupid of a human being do you have to be? Who in their right fucking mind would ever weld without a shield? Or, like, think it's safe? Especially when you don't even know how to do it. This, I feel like people have said this multiple times. I'll just, I'll just say it again. He is the type of asshole who like sees it. It's probably he's probably seen it in a fucking movie and thought it was fine. He sits. He is so fucking stupid and warped in like TV and movie reality that he probably saw it on there. I was like, oh, it's fine. You know, I, I couldn't do it. Do it. Oh my god. It's like real life things that he doesn't comprehend or understand that um, like he doesn't get. He doesn't like want to comprehend. He just thinks like, oh, I saw it in the movies. It reminds me of the same thing. Like he hurt his fucking eyes and now he's an idiot for doing that. He could have killed. He could have died easily. Yeah. The same thing with like the whole job thing with the, the, the HR lady Brandy or something like hitting him up and saying, hey, you have to do this and this. And he's like, "Doy, that's stupid. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna ignore you and go to Ron." Like, so it, it's just like, it's like what the, the shit you see in the movies. Like, I don't, I don't understand it. It's so fucking stupid. Ugh. That's my theory. He's like going what's based off of the movies. All right, I'll stop. I'll stop complaining. Well, I was like literally red. My right eye was completely red. That's why I, didn't, I couldn't do the stuff. After I get back from Scott Wigan today, I couldn't do the stuff that I wanted to do because my eyes were stinging. So I just stayed inside and did stuff inside that I could do. Right now, this, my right eye is stinging still. Not, as, not nearly as bad. I'm hoping it doesn't turn out the same as it did last night. Does he fuck? Oh, like still learning. watering some. He... Causing me a headache. Okay. It's like he hasn't taken responsibility for his dumbness, dumbass bullshit. I don't know if you thought that I intentionally forgot about it, but I've literally, I've literally, I've dreamt about you a lot, and I've literally woke up and seen messages that I started sending to you when I don't even remember sending them, or I don't even remember typing them. It wasn't in the eyes. I don't know if you think I was joking. Don't know if you think I was joking about that or not, but no, it worked. He's, he's full of shit. He's fucking lying. <clears throat> Are you okay? Fuck, you got this fucking game. I don't even care about that, but that's for the three minute panic attack. <laughs> for the three minute panic attack. I don't even care about that, but thanks for the three minute panic attack. Last night? I, I know I asked you if you were okay last night. I tried calling you back and you wouldn't answer. Why would I not be okay? Oh, there's a lot going on right now. What? It's very stressful for four people that I know of. He, was, he almost he stopped himself from saying himself. You have cramps? Yes. Yes. So you you getting your period? You can't be getting your period if you're pregnant. I don't know. I don't know. The, I don't know completely everything about being pregnant. 
I was off by a week. I wasn't late. You wasn't late. So how did the test wind up reading positive? I'm coming for you, monsieur. I read it wrong. I saw a line and thought I was pregnant. Ah, oh, this guy. Apparently. It doesn't read one line for negative and a plus sign for positive. Jamie, do you know how weird that sounds? No. I think you do. Excuse me. So I think you do know how weird that sounds. <laughs> that does sound weird, but I think it's funny. I've never had to take one before. it wouldn't have any lines if it was negative. I just looked at the box quick. <laughs> That's hilarious. That's actually hilarious. Will never looked at the box at all when he bought it. You wanted answers so I rushed. This call's really funny though, honestly. This call's funny because it's just like... Like Jamie and me stupidity. This interrogation? Shouldn't you be happy? Jamie and me stupidity about pregnancy tests. Yeah. Well, but it's, it's just... Stupidity about... It's odd, you know, Jamie. Like, it's so fucking dumb. Why? It's... Because it's odd. Huh. Ronald McDonald. Is, what's the deal, Jimmy? It's Austin? not hard to read a pregnancy um, test. I'm pretty sure he is, but he might just be in a facility. He's in a facility, like a retirement home slash nurse or whatever it's called. Uh, hospice okay, care or something. Or he's, he's not with us anymore. Negative and positive. Side by side, it's not a battery. Almost made it over there. No, well, I'm taking taking your word for it because I don't buy them. I just I've just seen them on TV. Oh man, I'll tell you. Uh, I'm gonna tell the entire story, but uh, yeah, the pregnancy tests are, are something else. But um, yeah, it's um, I haven't really had to deal with them, but uh, I had friends friends that uh, you know they were fem they were female they weren't male but yeah they had to deal with them. It's pretty fucking off. like I feel like at the end of the day. Obviously, this is kind of one of those wacky things, but um, yeah, I feel like anyone would know what a pregnancy test would be. I feel like that's was taught in 
sex ed. But it's funny how Lauren's catching on in a weird way, but at the same time, like, it just doesn't... It's just funny, like, listening to him be like, Oh, I welded the other day, and now my eyes hurt, I didn't wear a mask. So it's just, like, funny, like, him trying to like, be all like, It doesn't make sense, nothing makes sense. When, like, he's the idiot that, like... <laughs> did welding with... Ah, damn it! Did welding without a fucking mask, which, I mean... He, he could have honestly been blinded himself. So, I don't know. Sometimes it's just kind of hilarious how much he, like, tries to act all smart and intelligent, but some of the most basic things, bot, bot, he just doesn't get. So, that's why, I think it's, I, I just find it I ironic in this call about that. So, yeah. As you accuse me again. Jamie, considering I have a sister, and I have sister-in-laws, that I would have had kids, Sweet. I have seen them before. You just said you didn't. Yeah, you I said I don't buy them. I have mean? seen them. The you know, I've seen them on TV so, until I realized and uh, I game remember so seeing the one that my sister-in-law showed me and one that my sister showed me. On TV. Jamie, weird. Jamie, I've got women in my family. I have seen them before. I've seen them before. Have you? Okay, tough guy. There ain't no tough guy about it. Oh yeah, sir. Oh yeah, this is like the last area. Okay, this is why they're defending it. So I've never seen the one with two on it. That's why I'd say there is one. Will you listen to me before you jump to conclusions? So I've never seen one with, with one line and two lines on it. Like That's too. not to say, damn it. You gonna oh, let me finish? Are you gonna let me finish? Okay. That's not to say that there isn't. It's just I've never seen them. I've seen negative and I've seen positive. I can't jump to conclusions, but you can. I'm not jumping to any conclusions, Jamie. I did not jump to any conclusions. Just telling you how messed up it sounds. Telling you how messed up it sounds. What the? Okay, I'm okay. Look, I'm I'm honest. Let me lie to you and tell you it doesn't sound messed up. I'm just like wanting to catch the last point. I'm not like being smart right now because I'm listening to fucking Lauren. Yep, that's way. the ones that I've seen. <sighs> it's not to say that they don't make them differently. Uh, you're you're making a big deal out of something that's not a big deal. <laughs> don't even start after the fucking bullshit that's been happening. Oh, see here he goes. The one making a big deal. God damn. It is a big deal to me, Jamie. It, it's a. Jamie, stop. Do the women in your family wave in around for everyone? No, they don't. Maybe had the first and second one. Yeah, they're happy about it. No, the test. Uh, whatever, no. No, I, no, I'm not gonna. No. The way the pee tested your face. Did you smell it? <laughs> anyway. Look at the EPT test the next time you're in the store and then you can go fuck yourself. Fuck you, don't fucking tell me you'll fuck myself. Get. Oh my god. Oh. Don't fuck yourself. Okay. Like I was trying to say when you kept interrupting me. That's not to say that they don't make them like that. Yeah. It's just that. Yeah. I've only seen minus and plus. So you can stop telling me to fuck off. And stop trying to find me lying about what I have seen. Hello. You don't need to say what. You don't need to say what. You hung up, dude. Stop trying to be mean. What? Stop trying to be nasty to me. I did not. No, I did not say that, Jamie. Yes, you did. I said it sounds weird. Shit. I didn't tell you you were lying. 
I told you, it's not to say that they don't make them like... I told you, it's not to say that they don't make them like that. It's just that I've never seen them made like that. Because I've only seen one kind. As if I'm lying. Right. No. Stop trying to put words in my goddamn mouth. You do that all the time. That's half the reason we fight so much, because you're always trying to put words in my mouth. Have you talked to Maggie Joe? And let her know? Infantry coming from this spot. What are you thinking about right now? I know you're upset. Here's the test I took. That's fucked up, Jamie, because I've never seen it like that. Jesus, Jamie. This is messed up, Jamie. Yeah, you weren't saying I was lying. Jamie, I am not going to tell you that it's not fucked up. It's fucked up because you had everybody wound up. Right as if I'm lying. Because because you didn't read the test. Instead, you jumped, and you said that you're uh, red positive. And so everybody has been wound up. Are you not realizing realizing how much that is for for all four of us to handle? Dude, I'm sure she does. Does he like, what does he think that like, Jesus, he has some And I know it's hard for you too. Because for a woman. Jesus Christ, Jamie. I, I was just about to talk about your fucking feelings, but you jump out and say that. Right after you grill me. Uh, Jamie, we. I know you're probably really ups upset in a way, also because. Damn it, Jamie! Stop trying to fucking interrupt me all the goddamn time. I know it's hard for you too, because for a woman. When they're pregnant, they start looking. You don't hear a fucking word I'm saying because you continuously interrupt me. So you must not want to hear anything that I say. No, you didn't because I wasn't even done saying it. No, no, I was busy fucking talking when you fucking tried to interrupt me. I am. You won't stop doing that. Yeah, it's all about you. You gotta interrupt me all the fucking time. It's all about you, Jamie. It's all about you. Not a fucking word I say matters. No. Nope. No, nope, because I was interrupting you that time. I was interrupting you that time. See how you like it. So don't repeat it. Why should I give a fuck if you repeat it? You don't care if I fucking repeat it? You don't care what I say when I say it? Yeah. All about you again. That's right. All about you, Jamie. All about you, Jamie. No, it's all about Lawn 24-7. Yeah. You tell me how, Jamie. How is it all about Lawn when you're still down in Nashville? How's it going? 
And you've yet to even shown any sign of wanting to come up here to be with me. Do you have a job? <clears throat> then, then you were gonna fucking name your baby after Will. Is my dead baby? Jamie, you come up with all the fucking stipulations you want, but you just continuously add them on. You really think I'm gonna wait forever? I haven't added any. Here's an idea. Don't do that kind of work anymore and get in a, 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 a job that... Get a job like a normal person has. How about you get a job, period? How about I will? How about you get your fucking ass up here? How about you get your ass up here? Fucking silence every time that fucking silence is it's golden. Have you talked to Maggie Joe? I thought you'd be happy and all I get is being accused online and lectures. <laughs> Jamie, I am happy. No, you're not. But after being stunned by that. Stunned. It, it, it felt really weird. Jamie, you've got to let me talk. In order for you to hear me. You want to know why? You want to know why I'm not, uh, not sounding really happy? Because for a few days, I've been pissed off. Because for a few days, I've been pissed off for no reason. I can move up there to live in a shack with an unemployed asshole. <laughs> I love it. You just want to keep trying to find ways to put me down. Dude, you're just being a fucking dick at this point. Like, it's like literally just... You're such a fucking macho man in love with this girl. Like, you know that she's stressed and stressed out and not having, not having fun. And if I'm that bad, Jamie, why do you want me? Like, when did I say I did? Oh, uh, call me when you do. Wow. Gonna let that pride take over so that we lose each other. Such a God forbid you tell. Okay, so he's literally being a fucking like man child, like, and like just to use like, just to use his terms about how he sees like sex. Or no, like different sex, like the male and female is as sex. Like he's such a sexist dickhead. Like he's not being a Mr. Macho, confident man that you know he probably thinks he is. Um, you know, in that scenario, like you'd have to definitely just like bite your tongue, take the L, and just like comfort your wo woman, comfort your woman that you love, uh, be supportive, and have a conversation later. But he's so combative and like jealous and butthurt, and insecure, and a fucking man baby. He has to fucking yell at her and make her fucking feel bad. So it's like interesting how he just thinks he's such like a man. And he's not, not even close. Um, <laughs> I just don't get it. Fucking Lord. Oh, I gotta get someone to flag the video because oh, they took out the oh they took out the swastika. So the swastika right. but, but yeah, it's just it's just such a he's such a fucking clown. Like he's. It's like a weird combination of like he knows everything's bullshit, but at the same time he's still treating it as real. So it's like either, honestly, have to like either do one or the other. Like I think it's either complete bullshit and like cop, like you know, back out and like you know, say fuck this. Or if you think it's so fucking real, then like treat it as a like, real thing and realize like your woman is your woman is uh, you know obviously in a lot of pain and stress and etc so to comfort her you know as you think that's what the man's role is fucking asshole he uses like the gender norm the, the gender norms like to his, his favor but like you know if it's against it he, you know he'll fucking cower and be a pussy like this i don't know if that makes sense <sighs> I fucking hate Gordon. he's making me go insane all right tell me that you want me 
That could be such a painful thing to do. What? What's wrong? What? What's wrong? You don't want me? Oh. Why is it so hard for you to say? Why? Yeah. Yeah. Tell me. Do you want me or not, Jamie? What the fuck? All right. Bye. <laughs> Hello. Did you lose service? No, I didn't. You said you don't want me. Why do I want to spend time with somebody that I, that doesn't want me? Such a fucking Words are a big thing, Jamie. You don't spend time with friends. Words are a big thing, Jamie. I'm not playing your fucking game. I told you that already. I told you that a long time ago that I weren't playing games. You want to spend forever down there? You want to spend forever down there? Jamie. I thought we were working towards a relationship. Why are you blowing it? Yeah, hold on. Why are you blowing it? You got your ass still down in fucking Nashville wanting to do the same fucking work where you just thought you were fucking pregnant there. Scary enough to fucking, you almost lost me with that shit. And you don't want to fucking come up here. You want to keep your ass down there. There's specialists up here too, Jamie. The only reason you want to be down there was because there's a specialist down there and Maggie Joe was down there. Why would I move if we aren't in a relationship? Well, I guess shit better change then, huh? That's foolish. Shit better change. Shit better we better get in a relationship and we better stick to it. What? I wish you would change. Jamie, I'll change as soon as you do. Oh, God. Here we Biggest go. change you need to do is get the fuck up here. Because this being away from me for a year, like it's fucking horse shit. All this fucking shit that you do with this closeness with Will, it's fucking horse shit. Friendship with Will, fine. Name your fucking kid after him? Name your fucking kid after him? Fuck that. We have a fucking... We have a fucking kid. The choice is going to be fucking between two of us, not just you. Of a, what if the kid gets named? 50 years old, talking about having a kid with a 25 year old. Jesus Christ, dude. This guy's been fucking crazy. Well, you didn't have a say in that kid. Well, yeah, I did. Because if you were going to be up here with me and I was going to fucking raise the kid, you know what I thought about today? What? I thought about saying, I thought about saying, let's see if I can adopt it. Then I'll choose the name. Yeah, well, there is no kid to choose a name for right now. But we have a kid. We. Two of us. There's two of us. Gonna choose the name. Oh my god, this is fucking insane. <laughs> Are you allowed to adopt? Probably not. Yeah, I'd be allowed to adopt. Doesn't mean I want you to go out and get pregnant. Can you adopt a 13 year old Kayla? If Dr. Uh, if Dr. Morris or don't return from the fucking doctor's conference. Ugh. I don't even want to think about that. Jamie, I want us, oh, I want us being noise. real. Monkey noises. I was thinking after this scare, the best move for my career is to uh, get my feet tied. Then no more stairs. Go get a condom. Why would you want to get your tube side? You don't want to have a, two, a, a kid with me? It's the weirdest fucking thing ever. No Go more stairs. No more scares? Hey, here's a good idea for no more scares. Stop doing that fucking job. Oh, here it is. There, there. Because I don't like that shit. We can adopt. You just said you could. I still don't like the, your fucking job. Good for you. It's not a...
That's not a job I'm ever going to like, Jamie, and it's going to be really hard for you to do that fucking job. Jamie, I'm telling you, I'm not going to have my wife going out and fucking other guys. I'm telling you. I'm telling you. You can tell me all you want, but I'm telling you out straight. I'm not going to have my wife going out fucking other guys. Well, you can find a different fucking job if you want to keep me. Find a different fucking job. I love it. My wife is not going to go out and fuck other guys. Jesus. You can find a different girlfriend then. Well, then I guess I don't mean that much to you, do I? Cause you, you'd rather fuck other guys than, uh, than so just have me. Christ. That's sad that's when your job means more to you than the person that you love. I guess I that's don't a very... mean much to you then. Can't accept my job. Exactly. See how that works. Exactly. Guess I don't mean much to you. You can't quit fucking other guys. To you then. Can't accept you my can't job. quit. You can't quit fucking other guys to be with just me. I guess I don't. So I guess I don't. Much to you then. Guess I don't mean can't much to you. My job. Jesus Christ, this is so hard. Guess I don't mean much to you. You can't quit from the stop fucking other guys to be with just me. I guess I don't mean much to you then. Oh, you do, Jamie, but. I guess I don't mean much to you then. Yeah, Jamie, you do. It's obvious you do. No, I'm, I'm the one that's got fucking four posters of you up. That's not... And other pictures. And buying you a ring, and I've waited for you for a fucking almost a fucking year now, and still haven't had you in person yet. And so obviously you must mean a lot to me. But one thing I'm not gonna stand for is my wife to have a job where she goes out and fucks other guys. You told me you were going to retire at 25 when we first started. Well, then, guess you shouldn't date a porn star. You told me you were going to retire at 25 when we first started, and I accepted that. I said I wasn't going to a month after all. No, it was a lot longer than a month after, Jamie. It was a little. It was a little over a month after. It was a little over a month after that you wound up in the hospital. Hospital. Dude, he's such a fucking dick, dude. Oh and that's when I told you, Jamie. So what's you need to me? You need to grow the fuck up sometime. What? Have a real fucking life. What is it? What does that even mean? Look who's talking. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Yeah, I'm looking to have a real life with you. I want a real life with you. What I don't want... No, Jamie, not on a fucking unemployment. You know I'm starting the fucking business up. Why can't you come back and, and do the business with me? What the fuck? What the fuck? What the fuck? What the fuck? Haven't, haven't fucking started it yet, Jamie. I'm in the process of starting it. You already know this shit, so why ask me some question that you already know? Dude. Why can't you do the business with me, or start, or start another business that you are interested in other than fucking other guys? Yes, it makes me unemployed. Why didn't you leave when I told you I wasn't quitting? You didn't tell me you weren't quitting. Yes, I did. Yeah, you wasn't sure exactly. Incorrect. Instead, what you did was you waited, and you waited until you knew uh, that you had me hooked on you. Well, and then you started saying incorrect. that shit. It's, it's you waited until you knew you had me hooked. You waited until you knew you had me hooked on you, and then you started that bullshit.
because somebody else put it in your head. Somebody else put it in your head, Jamie. Somebody else put it in your head, Jamie. Maggie Joe put it in your head, Jamie. You don't think I remember? This has been told you a thousand times she did and you fucking did wit. <laughs> Jamie, you told me that what she said. No, I didn't. You can go until you're at least 35. Oh, wow. I just spawned the guy kid. And? And? You, you didn't have any discussion with me, buddy. You just took Maggie, well, Maggie Joe's word and ran. He has a business card, so, like, that's, like... That's like the last thing. Like you would definitely have done jobs or are you know at least. I I get away with it. <laughs> like I feel like business cards. That was when I said I, I was going to keep thing. going. That was her answer. How the did she put it in thing. my head? Lord? One of the last fucking things. It's not one of the first. Because it weren't in your head until she said that. This fucking game. Yeah, business cards are gonna last. I issue. just said it was. What was in your head was telling me that Especially you were retiring at 25 from it. You don't have to get business, like, uh, that was license when I said I was going to keep going, that was her answer. Huh? Fuck that. It's the stupidest thing. How was it not in my head? Jimmy, I'm not having my wife go out and fuck other guys. You make up your mind if you want to be my wife or not. Yes, we are getting married. Well, that's a, that's your choice. Your choice. Why is he? I hate when people fucking say that. It's it's up to you. It's not my fault. It's your choice. It's like. Why didn't you leave when I decided I didn't want to quit right away? You thought you were going to be able to make me stop. Why didn't you make up your mind when we first met? When what? we first got together. So when we first got together, you were at 25. Retiring at 25. I want a so real life with I you, Jamie. My mind. I want a real life with you, Jamie. Answer a real life. A real life, Answer Jamie. I want a... What's Answer your fucking question? Jesus, Shut up. What's your question? Maybe you should listen, can't you know, pay attention. What's your question? Why didn't you leave when I decided I didn't want to quit right away? You thought you were going to be able to make me stop. Jamie, I was already in love with you. I was praying to God that you would, you would not follow through with, with 35. A month and that, you would actually want, that you would actually want to have a life with me. Dude, you're gonna be like 60, bro. Like, what the fuck? Why would you care? At 60 years old, why would you even give a fuck? You'd have. You'd at least so have then you did it. think you'd make me quit, is the answer. Jesus. <laughs> Thought you'd love me enough to not want to do that anymore. Uh, Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna cut it real quick. I'm gonna have to cut it. I'm gonna have to cut it. Okay, so like in this scenario, most of these situations are the older man has like money or at least a stable career or just like he could even be in like my field or like my line of work or make what I make, whatever. Like just decent enough money, um, having a future, having like potential to you know grow whatever. But like the you know, but like. You wouldn't care that she's like a porn star because she's a young female, a hot young female that is like into you. Like, that's all you care. Like, it's all you care about in that situation. Like, you wouldn't sit there and care about like, oh, she's like her petty drama, daily drama. No, you just be 
Like, just be that weirdo that just fucking is like, oh, well, yeah, at least I get to have sex with her. Like, that's just that the old pervy mentality. Like, that's what you should be focused on if you want to, like, have this, like, weird fantasy lifestyle with someone that's, like, half your fucking age. I don't know. It just, it just baffles me that he allows such weak, goddamn, weird shit to, like, stop him from just like letting her do her thing and eventually come to see him but i think at the same time like he knows it's all bullshit but I don't know. it's I, I just it's just fucking weird i don't know i'll just stop talking I, the more i talk about it, i'm just like this is so fucking bizarre but how bizarre me enough to accept my job you know how, how hard it's been for me to, to accept see that see how easy that is well, what made you think that I was going to go any further than what you and you can tell me to more? accept my job? You know how hard it is for me to, to accept your job. Why would you think that I would go any further than 25 like you first told That's me? That's my answer to whatever you are going to say. Thought you'd love me enough to accept my job. I thought you'd love me enough to want to not want to fuck any other guy. I thought you'd love me enough to accept my job. But you'd love me enough to not want to fuck any other guy. I thought you'd love me enough to accept my job. No, you're, I'm not gonna keep repeating myself. I never said you had to go past 25. You could have left at any time. Jamie, I'm not changing my mind. I want a real life with you. Not a life where you go and fuck other guys. I want a real life that's with you. That's not an answer. <clears throat> no, that's my answer. Motherfucking. Oh. Okay, by then. No, it's up to you. Fuck you. No, it's up to you. No, it's up to you, Jamie. There's a kill right there. Um. I don't want you. I want a real fucking life with you. What the fuck does that mean? I don't want a life where I'm gonna fucking be left home alone you while you're. Job, that's up to you. I don't want a life where you, where I'm left home alone so that you can go out and do a job where you gotta fuck other guys. Fuck other guys. I'm not quitting. I want a so life it's with, up to you. I want a life with you where you're home with me I'm every not night. Quitting, so it's up to you. Well. I'm not gonna be married to, to someone that wants to go out and fuck other guys. Alright. You well, are going to Jesus. support me. You can't work too, Jamie? We can we can't do the business together? What business? You said you were at the beginning, Lord. Yeah, I am at doesn't doesn't matter if I'm at the beginning, it doesn't take me long to fucking get going on it. I get jobs, they're big paying jobs. They're not small, most of them aren't small jobs. They're thousands of dollars well, you in said them. said at the beginning of our relationship you would take care of me. Yeah, I would. I don't, I will. I don't want you fucking other guys, Jamie. Oh my fucking god. You just said but I it doesn't. Job, though. It doesn't mean that you want to fucking lay around and be lazy all goddamn day. What the hell would you want to do that for? So you are changing it. No, I'm not changing it. If you don't want to work, that's fine, but you're going to be bored off your ass. What? What? You can't get a job. So he can't get a I'm job. I'm not quitting my job. I needed to make the kind of money I need to take care of my bills and get rid of this debt. The way you want things to go is for me to move up there when you have no job, but yet you want me to depend on that. Uh, yeah. Stupid. Jamie, I am getting the business going. You're going to have to make some steps to get us going here. What? You have no money. Mm -hmm. 
One of the things that, that my probation oh, officer has asked, oh, Jamie, l listen, listen to me for a minute. One of the things that my probation officer has asked me several times over. Okay, so this is like really. Okay, the actually, no, call almost done. I'll just shut up. Over is, has she ever asked you for money? I've continuously told her no. I even said, she just, she just sent me, I think I told you just before, because I remember telling you that. About you sending me Christmas presents. Just, she, she sent me Christmas presents. Jesus! Stop interrupting me. Let me finish what I'm saying, Jamie. I told her, I said, she sent me Christmas presents. I said, oh, Jesus Christ, Jamie. You, you're not gonna start this fucking shit, man. I'm so fucking tired of this shit. I'm getting off the goddamn phone. All you want to do is find fucking faults with me. Fuck you. The preceding announcement has been paid for by the Loan Weld Order. So I love that call. Um, I love the ending. Um, thanks to Revive. I appreciate that. So it's <laughs> lovely. I love that. He like he literally sits there and like can't win, so he pulls out probation, and then probation's just like like oh has she asked you for money? It's like no, and then Amy or Jamie comes back with like well you asked me for fucking money, and then he just freaks the fuck out. He's just like he's he's so fucking defeated. He's so defeated. He has nothing to fucking say. But. Um, I love how much he like tries to convince Jamie to just move out there with him without any sort of like anything. Like she says, I'm in debt, I'm making money, I'm like trying to pay off stuff, I'm like in a good spot. But he's like, come out here and just be here with me. As he has no job, no anything, you know, fucking trailer trash bullshit thing. But then he's like, oh I'm gonna get the business going, I'm gonna get the business going. And it's like during COVID, I don't mean I don't know the septic business, you know, lifestyle out in Shitville, Maine, but I would not assume it's as lucrative as uh, lucrative as uh, you know, porn stuff. Porn stuff. Fucking other guy. Um. So I just he's so fucking defeated at this point. It's it's a hilarious how fucking stupid it sounds. In every scenario. Um, Rachel said, did he ask for, like, did he really? I, so I don't, I'm not privy to that, so I, I have no idea. He could have, I don't, I have no idea. <coughs> so, people probably know what I did about that, but would not be surprised. But, um, I just find it so fucking hilarious how he gets shut down so fucking fast. The probation, probation. It's like that's not like a normal thing to like use as like an excuse. Oh, where is it? I put something now. Where the fuck is it? Ooh, yeah, I got it. Ooh, hold on, hold on, hold on. Garrison, garrison destroyed, yo. Um, but yeah, anyways, like, it's so fucking, like, it's so fucking dumb, like, if I have, like, if I was in a longest relationship or something, like, in that scenario, like, yeah, you, you, like, any normal person wants security and, like, understanding of, like, they're making a huge move, they want their partner to, um, have stability, and if Lauren says that, like, yeah, like, you know, he's like, oh, I'll take care of you, but it's like, she, you know, he's not employed, and he's just sitting around, Slummy and he can't even get his car to pass inspection. He can't do anything. He pisses around. He can't even take care of his own dogs. Uh, but he sees zero fucking problems with that. He sees no fucking problems. Like it's all just good in the hood. Um, I tell you, I would definitely, definitely not be. I would be a very single man if that was like I was making those kind of promises. I couldn't deliver. <laughs> but. Um, yeah, it's just fu I just it's so weird how he has he has zero. And it's just like obviously his probation, his therapist, and all these people in his own sex offender class tell him all these things. And he just doesn't get it. 
Um, let's continue with the you know, next call in this next one. What's up, Cassandra? Cassandra. Are you awake? Why? I'm sorry, I got so upset. I feel like you're always trying to find something wrong with me. Can you call me? No. Okay, I just woke up, so I'm not gonna argue. It's up to you. No. What did you want last night? I don't remember. Oh, then, so then asking me to call wasn't important. Apparently not. Maybe I just wanted to spend time with you. Oh, so you could accuse me of more shit? Did I say anything like that? Or are you just assuming? It's all you ever do. All you ever do is try to find something wrong with me, so what's your point? I don't have to try. It's all you present. I'm not going to waste my time explaining. You hear what you want. Tell Jack I said hi, la. And you're still not here. Perfect example. Thanks for proving my point. You're the one proving the point by not being here. You are proving the point by not listening to why I'm not. All about you. Can't forget. I know you'll say it's all about us but that but just shows your ignorance and how you don't listen. I love you too. And yes, I said too. Not sure why. Thanks for proving my point again. La la la, lol. The guy just showed up to prepare for the install of the business line and internet. Congratulations. Um, okay. Start getting yourself ready to get up here and have a real life. It's not gonna take long to get the jobs and money to start coming in once I get it all going. Once again, I will get ready to move when I'm ready. Not when you say. You better be pulling the stick out of your ass, then, because at the pace you're going, I will already be dead and in the ground by the time you get here. Go fuck yourself. <laughs> you didn't like me telling to you straight, huh? That wasn't you yelling me at straight. Oh, yeah, this is that cotton where he just, like, immediately gets told the same. He, he like, he says that little dumbass line, like, oh, yo, get up here, no, 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 stick up your ass. But then, like, it's said to him, and he just fucking freaks out. But uh, I love how he is so concerned about, like, he's, I feel like he's using, like, the, this business as a front to just get back on the internet to, like, troll and, like, be a predator slash, like, keep an eye on Jamie. That's all it is. Um, but I guess at the end of the day, like, doesn't probation eventually give it to him? Like, the whole Jamie and me thing ends around this time. But then, like, he's able to do, like, Skypes and stuff. Uh, the whole blue boy, whatever that is. All that stuff happens. <sighs> just, I love it. It's fucking insane. Um, what I, I just, the thing that just baffles me is how Lauren uses the word, uses the word love. Like, I don't know. <laughs> I just don't get it. I don't understand if he gets, he doesn't actually understand that word. So, um, yeah, I don't, I don't think he does. Any, in any, any, any way, he does not understand a fucking word. So, a business line for a non business Yeah, exactly. Like, especially like bumfuck dick boy main. You could definitely just have your little business, word of mouth, and then eventually become, uh, you know, online and with business cards, but in your little backwards town. Everyone kind of knows each other. Is that Lauren's burn phone? I have my burn phone. I bought, I bought a burn phone tonight, so, yeah. I can send as many news as possible. So, don't worry about that. Alright, Mike Pence is going to shut up now. Get back to the core. How about this guy who needs to pull the stick out of his ass about how he mooched off the government the past year? Fire. What internet did you get? Jamie, stop trying to put me down and find faults with me all the time. Mm -hmm. All I'm telling you is you need to hurry up and get up here so we can start having our life together. It's past time for things to change to something good for us. You're just getting further into debt being down there with COVID still happening, and it's still going to be about a year before life gets back to any type of normality. Oh, don't like me telling it to you straight, huh? I don't know yet. They will explain it all to me when it's installed. What? 
I don't think they will be installed until tomorrow. Mm, and you just say that stuff because you like to try and irritate me. You're you don't know or realize that I'm doing what I can to find a job and have been. That's why probation has encouraged me to stop my own business. Because the economy is so bad right now and has been since the pandemic started. I'm just telling it to you straight. You don't like it, huh? Mm, I love it, honey. Yeah, I love it. I don't think his that would be a I think they might float the idea around or something, but I don't think they were like, Lauren, please start your own business. Like, it's so, such a great idea that, like, a sex offender wants to have his own business. Just con his way to money if he sucks the government to drive uh, all their shit. What, where the fuck am I? Yeah, so like I love how he says that. He's like, "Oh, probation told me that they should make their own company, you know, because it's a job market." It's like, nah, dude. Like, <laughs> there's plenty of jobs you just are fucking asshole and don't want to do them. There's plenty of things you could fucking do. If you just don't want to do it. Fucking idiot. Just he could definitely find something up there. He just doesn't, he doesn't want to. So, uh, I don't know. Anyway, that's back to the call. Hmm, back to the call. Love it. Lol. I'm going to be working as much as I can down at the Teardown House for a while. There's a lot to do and only three and a half more months to get it done. My up. appointment with my lawyer changed. It's at 1.30 now. Okay. She's not the female I want next to me in bed. You are. Hello. 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 How are you? How are you? Waldo. It's been so long since you said Waldo. Why did you drive this away? I can't remember the reason that we used the wall, though. <laughs> I don't know why he parked this fucking I'm still not pregnant, so that's good. Ah, yeah, that's extremely good. Have you, have you talked to Maggie Joe yet? Is that so important to you? Well, because you're friends. No, I know she means a lot to you. He wants her to brag to Maggie Jo that she's not pregnant. Is she okay? Head back up with him. Up to Maine with him. That's what, she want. That's what he wants her to say. Pretty sure. Still mad. Pulled me 87. <laughs> Where the fuck this guy parked the fucking truck? You alright after a while. Just relax. Go with the flow. Yeah. It'll all turn on already. It's gonna turn on right. Fuck him. <coughs> just say that. What's going on with your voice? Oh, I'm just tired. Yeah, smoking. It's dry. <laughs> um. He's always in a good mood. Yeah, I kind of freaked out my day tomorrow. Lawyer called me and said he yelled at her, so now he feels better. Lawyer, I was planning on uh, talking to my lawyer at 10 o'clock, then talking, uh, having the conference call with Stacy and Sean and my lawyer at 10 30. That's what he told me last week. And he called me and told me that he had rescheduled and it's going to be at 1 30 tomorrow now. So he asked me if that would work for me. I said, well, I guess kind of has to. So it's like I was going to 
I'm just gonna put the two balls on the truck in the morning and oh, I and go know. over Funny and story. get the toilet out of the teardown house because no one wants that. So I'm gonna go fishing tomorrow. I had a little interruptions earlier. Um, the call to talk to a friend that was on the boat with. So we're, we're inviting one of our friends. I don't know if he's, he might be watching. I mean, he might be watching this right now, but one of our friends. He's in town. He's in town from Japan. He's a teacher out there. He's going to be on the boat with us fishing. And he is a Lornogra Lornogra Lornographer. Yeah. So I feel like he and I will be doing a lot of boring talk on the uh, fishing trip tomorrow. And our other friend will definitely be annoyed. <laughs> so we'll be doing a lot of Lord, Lord talking in the boat from the fishing trip tomorrow. But uh, I just realized that. But uh, yeah, it'll be, it'll be interesting tomorrow on the boat if we start pulling out Lauren. Lauren! Drinking white claws, talking about Lauren. But uh, just set it to a tip in there. Shall be interesting tomorrow. On the boat fishing, talking about Lauren. Cat fishing. All right. So I was gonna go do that. Well, actually, my original plan was to get the other two doors and bring it down. Motherfucker! Doesn't have the doors yet because he had to get his flooring, but he wants the toilet this month. So I was gonna go get the toilet and bring that down, or come back here, then do the conference call, then bring it down to go over his house and get that. Styrofoam insulation that she's selling me. Really thick stuff. But my day got off. We <laughs> could. Screwed up, my lawyer called me at 1 30. So I was like, I gotta. I would say his penis probably. Yeah, it's just at 1 30 instead of 10 o'clock. So. Like he I'll just realize that do he's stuff not here until he's not changed the world. Why does your lawyer want to talk before? Thinks he has, but he has not changed. It, well, he doesn't now. He wants to talk after. Before he wanted to talk before, before. but now he wants to talk after. So I don't know. I guess it didn't make a difference if we talked before or after. So. So you are having a conference, then you are talking to him. Yeah. I guess he finally wants to find out uh, everything that Sean's looking for and wants and all that crap. And Sean asked me, I don't know if I told you this already or not, but I forgot about it. So today I realized I still got to look for the book. Um. He wanted, wants a copy of my relapse plan that I did with Gene. So I thought I knew exactly where the book was, and it's not there. So it's, <laughs> that was because I've moved everything around so much. I now I got to find that thing. Is. Like his description of everything. Is like he doesn't understand what relapse means. I was thinking that I put it in the safe, and it's not in there. I was thinking I had it in the chair room. Plan? Uh, it's a relapse plan. If it, if you to avoid relapsing, great description, they you can make out this plan so you can avoid relapsing. <laughs> God, this is idiot. Are you? Yes, I know what they are. What is your relapse plan? Oh, I, I can't remember what I had down for it. I think it was, I'll learn to say no more. Quite sure I had that down <sighs> on it. What? Then, pay attention to the alcohol that I drink. What? Don't get to the point where I drink alcohol like I did before. <sighs> Jesus Christ. Pay attention to this, though, so you can drink. Okay, hold on. What about that? When I get off probation, I'll be able to drink, but I'm not into drinking like I used to be. Even when I get out of 
We you want to get out of prison? Nation. Huh? When are you getting off probation? I don't know yet. Mom asked me today why I wasn't putting in to get off probation. And I told her that I'm, I'm on state probation for 10 years. So, but the federal has custody, me, custody of me, but it's run concurrent. So, as long as I'm on federal probation, I don't have to deal with That's state probation. So, so, it's like either way, I'll be on probation for at least 10 years. So, I figure, well, I'll just stay right on federal probation till that 10 years up, and then. Yeah. Okay, I just. <laughs> okay, I have to step in here and like, I have to pause this. So, she asked him, you know, about the relapse thing, and then he's just like, oh, relapse is about, uh, relapse. And then she's like, so what's, like, your plan for, like, you know, like, <laughs> what's your relapse plan? Well, you know, just, uh, learn how to say no and, uh, not drink as much uh, as I used to. I just, like, I don't think... Unless I'm wrong, please tell me if I'm wrong, but I'm assuming the relapse thing is like what happens if you relapse. So if you do drink a lot or you do go back to like, I mean, he's already relapsed anyway. I mean, he's already been, he's been relapsing this entire time anyway, so um, I guess further relapse. But like, he goes back to talking to little kids, but he's already like, Engaged in the internet, conversations, sex talk, nude pictures, the drinking. He's already relapsed pretty hardcore. The only thing he has a relapse on is technically underage kids, but like we preyed on Rhoda, so like we're very much relapsing. So like he should be his plan was like how he would deal with the relapse, how he would become a better person, or like get out of that funk of being in that, that stage of wanting to relapse and doing those bad things. But he, in his head, it's just like, well, you know, I just just try not to drink as much and you know, say no to people. And... Again, this is like, I don't know, I just like, I don't know how you, you can't imprison this human being for like, all of these things, I just don't understand. It just it baffles me at this point. But I don't know. What do I know? I'm just an asshole on the internet. On the internet. But uh, yeah, that's that's my, <laughs> that's my two cents. Uh, I just want to pull my fucking hair out at this point. <laughs> yeah. Got anything planned for Lauren this year? Lauren this year? Um, was it mid October? I'll probably uh, do a stream. I can do a stream. Yeah, I should be. Um, I might. I'll probably be. I think Mrs. Pence will be out of town. Right? So I should be good to sneak out for a stream. But yeah, I don't have really any plan for warrant this year. Um, yes, he will never change. He never will. He never will change. All right, I'll shut the fuck up. Now this is the part about the whole prob. Yeah, this is the this is the whole probation bullshit. That he's he's full of shit at this point. Like even me not knowing a lot about probation and all that kind of junk, he's full of shit. He is full of fucking shit. And he gives it away. And he says like, oh shit! Oh, it's a See how everything's going then. See if I can put in for to get off probation then. What were you saying about after prison? Oh, the reason that that I drank so much after prison, after I got out of prison, was because I was I was so mad about everything. I'd literally go over and drink with Tony, and I'd get drunk, and I only lived hundred yards from him. 
That was when I lived in Canaan. I'd go over and drink with Tony, and I'd get drunk, and I'd go home, and I had my little fire. No, I say little. It was a pretty big fire pit that I built. I had my fire pit that I built. What's up, Vaccine? The only thing I had behind me was sand pit. Could be wrong. I, I had a lawn out back, a nice lawn with something that I fenced in so Roscoe could run all around in it. <laughs> and I'd build my fire pit and build my fire in my fire pit and I'd continue drinking. And just the heat from the fire and standing in the fire helped take out a lot of a lot of anger and frustration and What? It helped me help me to have a fire that helped me a lot. So when you like to you your point in this game, you definitely, like, you definitely want to like kind of like settle. No, down. ten years after I got a got out of prison. The second time. No, first time. Vexy's the best. Dude. She's awesome. She thinks I don't like her. Vexy, I I don't know why I don't think I like you. I don't you don't think it started over when you went back? As I said, Vexy and Fortnite. No. Um, <laughs> no, because if it started over when I went back, I'd have to start the class all over again. Happy uh, birthday. I think it was your birthday last week. Okay. Yeah, but I mean, my other stuff would have all been X'd out. It would have been crossed out. I know, I was first. Not counted, and, but that stuff still counted. And I just can't, I can't tell this podcast. The book that I did still counted. It's not like I didn't already do the book. I've done the book already. And it was done before I ever even went back. Okay, so, okay, this is my one point. Uh, this is the one point I have to make. Is like, I don't, I don't understand, like, he, I'm, from his perspective, I feel like he thinks that, like, this whole, like, book thing is, like, the end-all, be-all. It's, like, grade school over again. Or it's like, oh, you completed a book, so, like, you're fine. You won. You beat probation. I'm not sure if like, that's what his mentality is about this, but it's fucking weird. Um, and like, I love, he. I think he said it, I don't know if he said it already, because I can't hear it because of the game, but about how like, he went to prison, he already, like, he violated his probate, he violated his probation, went to prison, and then like, somehow he makes up this thing, um, about, like, well, you know, the first time, you know, the Fine, but you know, the second time they'll do something like that, dude. That's, that's, that's some fucking weird shit you made up in your head at that point, dude. But, uh, very, very fucking stupid. But, uh, as we've seen, hey, we won. Well, it's victory, but yeah, it's, um, very funny how he decides that, like, the book is some, like, you know, end all be all. I finished the book, so yeah, everything's good. It's all good in the hood. I finished the book. <sighs> yeah, I know exactly, Billy. It just it makes zero sense. Like he has like some like weird like Alex Jones type of conspiracy theory about like probation. Like they're against him completely, versus just like they want to make sure that he's <laughs> can like, hurt people and be a nuisance to the society. I don't know. It's just not just me. Alright, I'll shut up. Does you assume something or you know this for a fact? Well, I know that for a fact. I know, exactly. No. Like, it restarts. Like, you're, it's lifetime probation. Because I had already finished the book. Supervision. Like, it doesn't go Before away. I ever even went to Dwayne's class, I finished the book. I finished the book like a year before I mm -hmm. stopped seeing Dean and went to Dwayne. Gene didn't want to. Yes, I do. No, you don't. No. Well, because it's ten years after I get out first on. But you went back in. You can't violate your brain. Right. The just rev revocation of probation. Six months worth. They don't. 
they don't they don't count from when you go in the second time. They count from when you get out the first time. What? And they say and if you wind up going back again, they'll say yeah, again. you've had your probation revoked twice and had to go back in. And right now I've only had it revoked once. And I get back out of the violation of the probation you are trying to get off. Don't think that counts for something. Oh, it, it counts. It makes no sense. It counts, but it doesn't start your time all over again. It just, it just counts, it counts as a mess up. They don't want you on probation for the rest of your life. Especially when you're doing good and, and, and you get your shit straight. They can see you get your shit straight. Like me, the reason I went back in was because of drinking alcohol. But you weren't good or have your shits. Oh my god, I just, I don't, this is like, this is just getting so much more bizarre. Like, I don't understand his rationale. I don't understand the fucking rationale behind this. Like, <laughs> you were let out. They said, these are the rules you have to follow once you're out. You didn't follow them. You broke so many fucking rules multiple times like on almost a daily basis <laughs> just like from the minute you were contacted from some of the internet till today like you you violated your probation you violated like probably everything that is ever and you're like oh nah it's fine you know first one's a deuce the first one's on me like they give us they give you a, a makeup date for a test essentially like i just i cannot fathom and like i don't know where he picked up they don't want you on supervision for the rest of your life like you re <laughs> you re-offended and there's so much documentation that's just proving that you're not in any way, shape, or form, rehabilitated or changed. Like, you are gonna be on supervision for the rest of your life. You're gonna be on probation for the rest of your life. I, yeah, this is just baffles me. It's all just lies and a ruse for, obviously, for her to, for, for Jamie to, like, you know, like, oh, that's fine, I'll just come up there. Oh, God. Oh, it just, it hurts my fucking head. This really hurts my fucking head. Oh, God. This picture of fucking Lauren. The glasses, the Bluetooth, and the Boston cap, I just, I, I just hurts. Straight. Huh? You went back in. But right. You weren't good or have your shit straight. I mean, I didn't have my shit straight because I was, I was violating know, probation. Don't say that. You don't like I was drinking time. alcohol. I wasn't following the rules. Exactly. That's Exactly. That's why I went back in. Yeah. Now I'm not drinking alcohol. Man, you guys drinking now. alcohol since July seventh of two thousand nineteen. Hold on, say that again. Don't say, yeah, don't say nice How long yes, have you been fine. following it's probation? Not, not good. Don't say nice things, man. I have to pay. Since I've been all again. The count is a mess up, everyone gets one. Exactly. Especially his charge. His charge. Right, so that's not when the time starts. It's before you violate it. Huh? Get me confused on that one. <clears throat> oh, the way you said it, I guess, confused me. Everyone's something back, so she's a, she's a fun channel. Okay. She's an awesome person. 
sub to uh, sub to you. Right? So, first sub to Vanessa. Then sub to Lauren. So you can violate the probation you are on and go back to jail, but the time doesn't start over. Time doesn't. What do you mean the time doesn't start over? If you violate probation, you you violate probation. There's no time starting over. Dude, what? <sighs> Just means you violated probation, so you get punished for it. Okay, so you have nine years to go. That would be starting over. What? You don't. Starting from the time that, starting from the time that I first got out. That's not how the first time that I get so out. So you can violate the probation you are on and go back to jail, but the time doesn't start over. No, not so far as I know. I've I've never heard of that happening like that. <clears throat> I almost feel like that's common sense. I've known a lot of people that have basic like childhood I don't know, that's a question to ask him. Like basic childhood punishment would be like that. I don't know. I've never asked him. So they haven't been before, so I just that, that concept I felt translated into adulthood. <laughs> It'd be a good question to ask him because of where for the state probation. At least you've given back to society. I'm trying to. Um, cause I think those exist. I think someone has them. I feel like I've seen them. Maybe not. I just feel like those exist. I'm trying to trying to do things for people. I think they're out there somewhere. What do you mean, how? So you were being sarcastic about that? I think he was just a fucking like idiot booze head knuckle dragger. He just couldn't. Make it. <clears throat> like Mama not Sharon. He couldn't make it. I tried to do things that, that they need. They need done, and I'm surprised the Air Force took them. Air Force is like the hardest branch to get into. They don't like, have anybody to else to do it for them. Like Roy. He lasted like two years. Unfortunately, I don't know. No, I don't. I don't really understand them. Fucking family. It, that like that's pretty like yep. he fucked like once he, oh. once he fucked himself over with like uh he made it like that was the most downfall. I keep given Oh uh, do you remember all them yeah, like, anyone clothes that I had like from the yard yeah. from before the yard sale? I mean, sorry, I hope that or even was. some after the yard sale. As I'm like a done military but like I did like he would have been good. He would have been sad. I think it was like six contractor bags full, six big bags of, of clothes. Like brought them over to the to the church. The military after high school. Which church? Made life themselves, but like <laughs> to be in there two years. Oh, fucked up. The name of the church. Place, it's pretty. Yeah. It's on Doctor Man Road. Especially in they the, have a big like 1990. Big yeah. bin out there where you put clothes in. Matter of fact, I got I got a uh, another bag that I could bring over there too. Let's get a bunch of jackets and a winter jackets. I can bring that over there. See if I can remember to do that in the morning. And that will be helpful now that winter is ending. Shit, winter's not ending here. This is, this is the middle of winter right now. Yeah, exactly. This is actually just getting it has just an, I mean, like, you colder right now. And then, like, you're I'm having a drinking. cold snap right now. Until you stop drinking. You lie on you, you lie the night. You're supposed to be like, down to like 8 degrees. That's, that's, that's fucking bad. Like, if you lie on polygraphs, it's really fucking bad. So, yeah. That's not good. Like Oh, have I? I, think I don't think I have. I don't remember if I have or not. 
Oh god, you guys see how fucking terrible this game is. Seems like I did somewhere, but I can't remember Dude, okay, where right, I I'm did. Gonna, okay, I'm gonna stop. I'm gonna stop. this. So, I love how he tries to be like Mr. Humanitarian. Like, I volunteer. Like, I might have missed it because I was like flabbing over it. So, show me to shut the fuck up. Give the call. But it's like funny how he's like, oh, I just do all this stuff. Like, I remember him saying, like, hey, I just help out on sharing and on. It's like, that's not volunteer work, though. Like, that's putting in, like, okay, like and, oh my god, see, I'm telling you. That's like being a family person. Family person. Who said that? It's like Gregory Stewart. Yeah. A very family oriented person, but, like, that's not like volunteering your time. And then, you know. He's like, I don't remember if I volunteered or I did this, and uh, you know, I I don't remember if I did. It's like then you didn't. Like you definitely didn't volunteer. Like you don't remember. Like I remember volunteering in different places. I don't remember. I don't remember if I did or not. But you know, I tried. But um, yeah, like you you know if you volunteered someplace, like you definitely would know. I've been volunteered since like younger, but uh, maybe not. No, actually, no, maybe my old job I did volunteer. My old job, I did, I did a lot of event playing to do volunteer events. But, um, yeah, it's just like, look how he's full of shit. It's just like all to impress me. It's just not working. She's just like, nah, you're fucking full of shit. So, alright. But, um, yeah, it's just, like, I just find it hilarious how he's just, like, oh. And then he thinks it's, like, the water. He donated water to, like, the homeless shelter that was given to him and everything. Like, one thing of, um, one thing of, like, water. Like, I've, I have, like, friends that have obviously gotten busted for doing stupid shit. Um, they did so much of volunteer work, and they can definitely talk about it. Like, you know, either doing, like, uh, homeless shelters... Habitat for Humanity, um, what's the other one, uh, I'm trying, I can't like another one, but like they did like volunteer, like, you know, just like, you know, food banks and all that stuff, like they can talk about it, they've known that they've done it, um, for like way lesser charges, just like, oh, you know, pot or, you know, booze or whatever, it doesn't matter, um, they can talk about it, they know it, they know what they did, for him, he's like, I don't remember, but you know, this one time I did water, dropped off water and they like bitches about the people at the point i don't know it's just fucking bizarre how bizarre so all right i'll shut up i'm sorry just it just this this fucking this fucking conversation is just so fucking bizarre to me how bizarre i'll, I'll just have to think about that that bugs me now because it you know, seems like i'd be involved here some time somewhere and i can't remember where it was I don't like cold weather either. Last year. Huh? Last year. Last year? You volunteered last what year. I did? What did I do? Oh, really? Really? I'm asking. Like, yeah, I don't know this whole story, but. Oh, I don't know. I, I, I said, it seems like I did. I'm going to have to think about that because it seems really? like I did somewhere, but I don't remember where. You just follow fucking orders. You just, you're just you just a fucking simp. Not a simp. I mean, you're just a fucking stooge. You follow orders for a bunch of years. You get paid. You get medical. You get benefits. And you leave. Like, that's, that's what I don't like cold is. weather either. Especially if you do some think you did job anything? like a mechanic or something. I don't know, it just seems like it seems like I donated some time somewhere. Oh no, no, no. I, no, I, I, no, I, I, I know what it was. I brought um, about 40 cases of bottled water over to the homeless shelter. And he couldn't read the codes because he's trying to like, have him read codes That's what it was. and shit and he couldn't fucking figure it out. And they're like, alright, you're useless. That's when I worked for Arshie Moore. No, you did that last year. That was... 
no, I, I, I don't know. Is it a console? I don't know it's if it's actually console. I have it on PC, so I don't know if it's a console game. I don't know. How long was it? Not this last summer. Summer before last. So it hasn't been recently, but you donated your time, yeah. just unloading the water. <laughs> Are you seriously trying to find some vaults in that? I'm asking. Oh. I was say, because when I donated the water to them, they were extremely happy to get it. Right. Right. You can... Oh, that's why your questions are seeming a little odd, Jamie. Uh, look at the south. We don't get medical benef medical benefits. Well, if we do, the job tells us it's really good. Uh, yeah, dude. I mean, it depends on the job. I'm like, asking if you yeah. spent more time there or just dropped off the water. Trust me, man. I'm doing mm, it. No, there was, there was only... Florida, I'm definitely dealing with, like, medical bills. Like, three there. three guys that was there. Now, so. Life is not... There was more, more people that was there that was homeless, but they weren't there at the time. There's only three guys that was there at the time to help me on moto. God damn, 40 seconds. And, well, one of them didn't even help. So just me and two other, two other guys. I no, I didn't spend any time there. Okay. Why did I need to spend time there? You said you donated time. Um, no, I thought I thought I donated some time somewhere, but that, that's not what it was. It was I donated the water. And I don't like the cold either. I'm sure you don't. Yeah, I have you. But I know how I know how to live in it though. Yeah. Oh shit, this dude oh wow, they are fucking sick right now. Holy shit. I do. Considering I was born and raised in it. I'm looking at pretty much all my first even when I went in the Air Force. I wound up being in Alaska. Really what I expected. Go down for it, it was funny because you when you go in to basic training, they have you fill out a form of, of your wish list. Uh, eight places, eight different bases that you want to go to. Eight, eight places that you want to go. I I put all southern states and one in California. And they sent me to Alaska. Kind of ironic. No, it's not. But I didn't. I don't regret it though. It's beautiful up there. No, they do that to everyone. Mm, they say they send you where you didn't need it, but they don't. They, it's wherever you put down that they usually send you the opposite. <laughs> That was quite funny because there's so many people there that was from southern states. <laughs> they, they weren't used to the cold. It was funny. Okay, I'm just gonna put that one. Hold on, I'm just gonna say this one second. Okay. Um. So, yeah, they every brand they all do that. They all tell you where you want to go. You have to obviously take up the tests and the interview and all that bullshit. And you, you know, you're recruited and everything. So, you know, like Lauren, these dipshits that are fucking not smart, smart. They're idiots. They send them to like shitty locations, like some like knuckle draggers do. So, that's what they do. They send the people that are smarter and like test higher and do, you know, obviously better. I guess, in Air Force Airmen. 
to better locations, so he was in good shape because I got sent up there. He was all the people from the shop and all the people from the shop. So yeah, all the fucking idiots. That sounds very neat. I live in the south too, technically. So um, yeah, so they send them to like the shittier locations. Uh, both my parents, I think, did well enough, but um, they both got stationed in Hawaii. That's where they met in the army. But uh, yeah, I don't think either one put Hawaii, but they got Hawaii. Station that you know, like I got a basic and did their um, schools and stuff. That's so where they were stationed first. Was why they got stationed in other like sh other shithole areas, but you know, the first thing that they did was why. So, you know, no one got placed in Alaska, at least. In fact, no one got stayed there at all. Um, yeah, that's <laughs> good. Yeah, yeah, that's a great <laughs> part of yeah, but you know. Yeah, I, I encourage everyone to, to uh, come to DC and ban Mike Pence. It's kind of a move. Just ban me, please. Just come protest and ban me. And yeah, Canelli is not that far from where I live. Yeah, he's uh, like 20, 25 minutes from where I live. But uh, yeah, I'll shut up. So, what'd you do today? I clean and cry every day. It's fine. Don't worry. Jamie, we don't worry about it. Doesn't matter. Call me when you, you call me when you cry. Call me and talk to me. A really yeah. abuse? Yeah, I so back in the day, um, Why me? I had a friend who worked at uh, Home Depot and actually bumped into Canelli. And like Canelli talks to huh? him. He's like, hey dude, like where are the males? I just need some males. My friend and I used to watch, and we used to work together at this one place, and like, we used to watch oh, you. all the time. Why do you think gross? And like, he was, he was like, dude, I fucking saw John Finelli. He asked me about the nails and things like that. So, yeah. I don't want to yell at you. I don't know what you, I don't know what you think that I like yelling at you. I what part of town you're in. I mean, I'm... A lot of times, I just, when I talk, I don't. Travel pretty much everywhere. I don't yell. On the Virginia side, but. A lot of times, when I. When I, when I, when I talk, I. Didn't when I talk, I. I said that's what you do. He's like, hey, bro. Yeah, but a lot of times, when I. When I. When you say that I'm yelling, I'm mad. A lot of times, I'm not yelling. It was the Annandale just, Home Depot. The one I'm just the, trying to. Return bike. I don't know, sometimes I get frustrated. Voice. Yeah, sometimes I wind up raising my voice. And it's, and it's not like I'm, I, I don't talk in one tone all the time. I don't talk in one tone all the time, though. I mean, when I'm, when I'm, when I'm mad, that, that, when I'm mad, I, can, I, I do raise my voice a lot. Oh, you saw Mosaic? Oh. Higher. <laughs> He was at Mosaic? Really? Holy shit. I was at Mosaic. Um... Yeah, <sighs> that's when I yell. When I, when I get mad, that's when I yell. I was in Mosaic in like July. I went to the. Went to the. It's really Bar Taco in Mosaic. Oh, um, I know. But when. Oh, the Tarje. Yeah. How, do I, how do I explain that? Yeah, I went to the you know, yeah. I, I, think I, I go to I, I used to go to Mosaic a couple times a year. You know? I, I, See, there's a lot of times that you disagree with me just to disagree with me. Little meeting spot. Incorrect. Usually go to like the super. <laughs> Even place. now you're disagreeing with me. <laughs> or the brewery. Is it Caboose? Is it Caboose that's over there. I don't always keep things in one tone, and I know that. I never said you never asked that. Never asked that. I've been dying. When you're so here and I get upset, I'll, I'll go outside. 
I'm going in the shed and I'll relax and we'll come back in and we can try to talk again. But when I when I do, you gotta let you gotta let me go so that I, so I don't yell. Uh, abuse. Yeah, I think so. He has a couple. Yeah, let me go on. There's one like I think he had one place. No, in the church. what I'm and saying. One in, like when I get upset. When I start near, getting upset, uh, I'm gonna go out in the shed and relax for a few minutes. But also, I think just, there's one close just to get away from the situation for a few minutes. There's definitely one in Mosaic. For but sure. you gotta let I'm me not, do like, that. In mosaic, I think, too. That way, I don't yell. Like. How many times have you yeah, done this? Closer to like the Asian market area. It's like. Have I done what? Huh? In your life. Have I done what? Yeah. Vex, I'm saying. That's what Vex, I'm saying. You know? Come out here, you can see David K and John Kennelly and. Uh, Joe Wonderler. They're out. They out here. I, I don't know. I, I normally, mean, I don't get so upset. Columbia. You're gonna. When you're here, you're gonna see a. Okay. You, you really need to listen to me on this, okay? Right, cool. This is. This is. John, I'm being very serious with this. Right. When you're here. When you're here, you're gonna you're gonna see an extreme change in me because I you'll act. Kill. I got two kills. Jamie, you'll actually be here, right. and oh, that's, that's where my biggest fear is. No, right. dude. Well, he's Maryland. He's true. in. Rockville, I think. I think he's in Rockville, Maryland, I believe. I think, like, he and Canelli, or not, EK, are like Rockville ish area or somewhere out there. Like, I think they're in that area. I think the last I saw that <coughs> David K was uh, working in DC. Like, so don't judge you on how you treated me up to this point. Judge you then. I remember Joey reached out to him. Jamie, I know you don't want it to affect me. But what has happened? What has happened to me in the past has affected me. So I'm, 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 until you're here, you know I'm. I'm gonna be worried about it. Yes, or no was the answer. Forgot the question. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I did. <laughs> it's like you knew that. Huh? What? Will you stop hanging up, please? No. Just because I forgot the question, just because I forgot the question, exactly how you phrased the question, I was concentrating on what I was saying before. I was listening, but I was concentrating on what I was saying before. Honey, I was concentrating on what I was saying before, and you asked the question at the same time that I said that. That I was saying that. Like, yeah, that's why I was answering your question. Was, uh, I thought I was answering your question, but you just wanted a straight yes or no. Unless he's incarcerated. I don't know. K is such a weird person. He's so fucking. But no, you know, it'd be rare that you see me holler or yell. As long as you're not trying to intentionally, Ooh, here it it, as long as you're not trying intentionally trying to make me mad, this is like what sentence? No, you're not. You're not listening to what I'm saying. So as long as you're not intentionally, yeah, I said as long as you're not intentionally doing something to try to make me mad. Well, if you're intentionally doing it, then the blame would be on you. No, 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 no. We're just no, 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 no. I love how he's like a traditional person. He's like tries to pretend to be a traditional person, but he's not because like he's sitting here telling like a female, like female. He's telling like her like, oh, unless you're trying to make me mad. Like I definitely never. I was like anyone. 
of my friends or myself I've ever dated someone who's a female, they will find ways to make you mad. You just have to either deal with it or circumvent or whatever. It's just part of dating. <laughs> it's part of dating, I don't know. You know, traditional too, but I just love how he's like telling her, like, I'm gonna, like, I'm not, I'm, like, here's an excuse of why I'll get mad at this off of the music. If you make me mad at her. Just so he's like an insecure fucking asshole. Oh, I don't know. Just, which further, like, which further for me thinks that, like, he's a virgin, virgin. Never, like, kiss a female because that's, like, heaven or cheek. And has never, like, fully dealt with female in a relationship. Ever. It's just so fucking bizarre. Because he wants everything to be, like, picture perfect. Of just, like, you cannot do anything wrong, ever. If you do, it gives me justification for abuse. And it's just, like, so fucking scary. It's so fucking scary. It's so cringe. But, um, I just love the fact that, like, he's, he just wants to, like, have all his empty promises and all his empty threats and empty, like, oh, I'll change for the better 2006 for you when you come up here, which is not gonna happen. Like, I watch trashy TV shows in Mrs. Pets, and, like, it's the same fucking, it's kind of the same thing. It's like, I promise I'll fucking change, I'll change, blah, 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 blah. It's like, no, it did, it's no, 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 it doesn't happen. Um, <laughs> Lauren is no exception, so, okay, I, I'll stop venting. Ugh. Back to the call. I hate this picture, I hate this fucking picture of Lauren and his fucking glasses in the house. Ugh. I'm not going to do things to intentionally make you mad. Why would I do that? Why do I bother talking? You don't listen. Uh, yeah, I do. What was my question? Your question was, so when you're here, I'm not going to yell? No. Ask me a question again, then. I don't know, I don't know why you make no. such a big deal out of If I forget a question, Jimmy, I forget a question. I'm not perfect. Come on. Exactly. If somebody exactly. doesn't hear me say something, I just repeat it. I don't make if a big deal out of it. I don't make a big deal out of it if somebody doesn't hear my question. You're the one saying you listen. Well, I do listen to you. But just because I don't hear your question or I forget what your question so was, question? it just it just means that I forgot it or I didn't hear it. <laughs> it doesn't mean it's a crime, Jamie. It means that I just forgot it or I didn't hear it. But if you listened, you that's would why have heard. I, that's why I ask, can you repeat but if you it? Listened, you would have heard. But you make a big deal out of if I if I forget it or if I don't hear it. You make a big deal out of that. You automatically think that I weren't listening. You're the one saying I was listening. Bullshit. I weren't listening. I was listening. It's just I was saying something else and forgot what your exact words were. I that must, more, that doesn't I didn't mean hear anything. What you said. His fucking words mean nothing. He is talking shit. Stupidity. Oh my god. Jamie. Just because I forget what you asked, or the exact way that you asked it, or I didn't hear you, doesn't mean you need to make a big deal out of the one I ask you to repeat yourself. You don't forget what you said. She's... Oh, God. Oh, God. You didn't Somebody hear asked me to... Plain and simple. And I, don't even, I don't even think that when somebody asked me to, to repeat myself. You have to repeat yourself. If somebody asked me to repeat myself, I would, oh, well, they must not have heard me, so I just repeat myself. Some asshat wasn't saying he listens. Well, here we go, trying to find faults from me again. Trying to find faults from me again, Jamie. Which one? This is really bad. 
The one you just said. Bolt. Yeah. F E L S E. F A L S E. You told me to spell that word. How does a human Don't know why. Looking but... for faults. What the? How does a human being? Yeah, you're looking for faults in me. Oh. <clears throat> you're always you're always looking for some faults. What is the definition? <clears throat> for something wrong. It's like is. It's not technically wrong, I guess. I don't know. No, it's really I, I'm, I'm trying to dumb myself down to like make sense of this. I shouldn't do that. Do you understand what I use the word for now? No. no. <laughs> You're always looking to find something wrong with me. something wrong. He's found yes, I see what you're doing. You're making me repeat myself. It's like oh well. I don't find things that are wrong. You present them. <laughs> you just using my shit. <laughs> Why the hell? <laughs> oh god, you can be so funny. This isn't funny. This is a human being not being able to... And you, are always you know you're beautiful. Oh, you know you're beautiful. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. It's actually hurting her in my brain. How many women have lived with you? Uh, <sighs> two. Kind of. Okay. <laughs> can we just can we just back this up real quick and just uh, analyze the fact that this guy literally said false as false. And I. Okay, you oh, you uh, that's. I have no understanding of like how a human being is. I've never once heard a human being make such a bad, like just that that kind of like error. I don't know, grammatical, vernacular error ever. I, I don't know. Like just you have to like, turn your TV up to loud. And put the cap closed captions on, please. Just you fucking go. I don't know. That's that is that is fucking alarming. As a human oh my god, that's, that's just so fucking bad. That's very fucking alarming. I just, I just, I just can't admit. How can a human being seriously? Confuse or think false and false are. Uh, it's, this is fucking, it's just fucking hard. Uh, oh my gosh. I'm trying to find faults me. I don't know. I, yeah, I'm so, I, yeah, I'm glad I'm not the only fucking person. It's just like, how is, how is that a thing? And then like the whole living with the two women thing. Okay. 
A woman with deaf and legs and is someone that can't decipher faults and false. One, two weeks, and and Denise was kind of off and on. That was for two months, three months, something like that. This is like all this way. This is all. Crazy. But how many women have lived with me before that? Or as far as just women in general, including family members? There's been family members. One, two, what? No, three, four, four. That's not a four. That's not what that family doesn't count. That doesn't. When would family ever no, count? You said what? when would family ever count? When would family ever count? When would family ever fucking count? When would family ever fucking count? When someone, like, when your significant other is like, have you ever lived with a woman before? Like, it's not, oh my god, oh my god. It's just, I don't understand that. Has Mike Pence lived with a woman? Let me see. Uh, I have my mom, my sister, uh, I guess two a woman to live with? No. Have I lived with a woman? No. Oh my god, I just, oh, I just really, I just, I don't understand this human being. I can't. I don't get it. I just don't get it. Okay, okay. Pence is gonna stop. Continue the call. Women? Yeah, quite specified, like, to a great extent, so. So I just thought I'd cover all the bases. So who was the one who lived with you for two weeks? That was Brandy. Why did she leave? Because she did drugs. She didn't tell me she had a license. And, or she didn't tell me that she didn't have a license. And she borrowed my truck with me thinking that she did have a license. <laughs> That was not long before all my ring of downfall happened. Ring of downfall. That's, oh, that's what it's called. That's what it's called. Yeah, that's what Ring of downfall. Yeah. It was actually during my <laughs> ring of downfall. Some, yeah, well, I started, some George. Well, I was know. drinking a lot. I started some drinking even drink. more than I have ever had before, and not long after that, I get my OUI. Now, what does ring Year after that, I ring a downfall means from the time that I started drinking a lot more, ring things down. just started going downhill. It wasn't long as. The fuck is it? Yeah. Damn it. Oh my gosh. It was a period of time. This game and lore just fucking. Oh my gosh. That period of time. When did you get your OUI? 2006. <laughs> I'm sorry, but. That was the first time I ever did anything wrong. No, that's definitely very false. False. False? False? It's very false. Denise lived with you. It's very false that he... That was his first time doing something. Uh, she Is was... Right? Like, uh, there's more. I, I lived with, with her, kind of. Because I was at... Uh, we were... Well, the two or three months that we were together. We were together every day and every night. What month did you get the OUI? Yeah, downward spiral. Once, I think the Betty thing, maybe. I don't know. Oh, I, I don't know now. I don't remember now. 
I mean, was he conning women at this point? Like, I think it was. Down in spot was conning women getting caught. I think it was September, I think. Yeah, I mean, so, I mean, was he conning women? Like, was he not only he con? If I remember correctly, he August con or September? I think it was September. Con Betty, con someone else too. Did I pay rent? No, because I didn't. I was actually renting a house right down the road from her. It was like during the day we were over my house. Also, you weren't living together. No, we we were together pretty much all the time, and we weren't really living together. Living together during the day, we'd be down my house. You said you while were. the kids were in school. During the day, we were down my house while our kids were in school. In the afternoons, when the kids got home, we were up to her house. After I get off work, I'd go to her house. What? Wait, I'd what? stay the night. But you were. So you were with back her all day I... at your house, but you worked. Yeah, I worked second shift. That's 9 to 5. From 3 to 11 o'clock. No, what? You'd no. stay the night. Wait, what? I'd stay the night at her house. So when I came back from work, I'd, uh, I'd stop at her house and I'd spend the night there with her. When did you she couldn't leave. What? No, well, sometime during the night. Well, she she'd get her kids up and get them off to school, and they'd be they'd be gone to school by well by six thirty. They were gone from the house, and I was still sleeping. <laughs> so, yeah, yeah, Billy, really, yeah. Totally right. She didn't work. No. No, she didn't. She had um, the money that the kid's father paid every month to put child support. She lived off that because she had to take care of the kids. Shit, so she, she'd do extra things for money on the side. Like babysit her sister's Life two walks. kids. She'd, like babysit her sister's two kids. She'd do that some. Hooker. No, not hooker. She'd baby, babysit her kids, her sister's two kids some. She did some work for some elderly people some. She'd do little things here and there. How much did that but, bring in? I don't know. I never asked her. It wasn't my business. It was her business, not mine. Nobody. Are you fucking? Oh my Nobody god! Nobody care about finances. Uh, Jamie, that was back when I was 19 years old. What? And. And. Yeah. Don't you find these questions a little odd? That wasn't a hobby you had then. What was not a hobby? What? Fine, fucking Denise? Makes no fucking sense. Oh, fine, this no. story makes no fucking sense. Okay, so he's like, oh, it's 20, I, I was 19 to 20. But he will sit there and cry to fucking um, Will about some... Paula from like 25 years ago. He remembers like every detail or just like just about <sighs> This whole story is fucking bullshit. I feel like it's it, I feel like this is some chick he knew In the neighborhood maybe someone like his friend hooked up with or I don't some like something like this is a real person Like it's not like him Oh, we should come on my place, and you know, just show up. No, it's all that's just bullshit. This is just fucking. This is. Uh, I don't believe any of it. I don't believe. I think this is a real person. That's about it. Uh, this my head's fucking spinning right now. It's all the fucking lies. I don't finances weren't a hobby. I went to work. 
I went to work on second shift, and I'd come home, and I'd go over her house. We'd fuck, we'd go to sleep. She'd get up and get the kids off to school, and I'd wake up no long after. We'd go down in my house and spend the day down there doing things. Life walk. We like just things. We we clean the house, or we'd watch TV, watch a movie, things. spot spot down there. Go next door and see your sister and her brother. Huh? We go next door and see your sister across the road. The sister and brother in law lived across the road. We'd go somewhere, we'd do something. So the people she babysat were across the street? Yeah, her sister. Her sister and her brother in law lived across the street from me. Right across the road. Did she own a vehicle? No, she didn't. She had a had a license, but she didn't have a vehicle. <laughs> so she depended on on me, and she depended on her sister and brother-in-law to help her get from place to place and take her kids to her appointments and stuff. Yes, yeah, the music. This game is fucking difficult. Uh... Did her kids hate you? No. Nope. They did for sure. This is not real. This is just not. None of this is fucking real. Did they call you Papa Lorny? Papa Lorny. Did they call me what? Did they call you Papa Lorny? No. Do you remember me telling you about? The guy that um, went into her trailer and turned the gas on. She had a gas stove. She turned it on. Or he he turned it on when we, when we weren't there. And when we got back, she smelled it. That, that's Denise. It was her husband, her ex-husband that did that. Jesus. Oh, my God. She's died. Oh, my good Lord. Street down the road. Cause yeah, it's just like, well, cause there's some bad words. For, for, for. Have you ever lived with a guy? Is that why the kids liked you? Because you didn't I, try to commit murder. Like, uh, no, I, they liked me just cause they liked me. It just helps the story out. That was nice. It's people he knows. Those little backwards ass from the fucking area. Have you ever lived with a guy? Yeah. Who? Oh. My D at. <coughs> yeah, huh? Yeah. Males. I mean, besides Will. No. Oh. He's so much. Like, this is his stories are so are such fucking. Do you think lies. it's gonna be interesting living with me? They're such fucking lies. She didn't live with you, dude. Rose. Rose, you don't want to live with me now? You walk around the house naked when you're here. No. No. You did it at your house. I don't do that anymore. 
Alright, Buse, thanks for hanging out, buddy. That's up to you. I don't walk around the house naked all the time. During Hopefully daytime, I get my clothes on. Hopefully you're walking around your house naked right now. When I'm done for the day, if I feel like taking my clothes off, I... I am. But it's also... 822. Okay, so it's all the time. No, it's not all the time. It's only at nighttime. I like wearing something wrong. Okay, here way it goes. Why do you why do you think I'm gonna fight you on that? The dogs are there. You like wearing clothes? Weird. Yeah, it's definitely yeah, it's So what the dogs are here. It's what weird. the fuck? What the hell's so weird about it? They're dogs. Give Pence a Everything. Come on, that's a kill. Mm. Um, you just so need to get used to it. Once you're used to them, you won't even think about it. That's so fucking... St oh my god. That's, you, you can't say these... You cannot say these you things. You sleep in bed naked with you bed. You cannot say these things. You cannot... Mm -hmm. like, I, you literally cannot sit here and say these things to this fucking girl. You cannot sit here and tell her, like, you will get used to all these things. You will get used to these things. You'll just get used to it. It's up to you to get used to it. It's like, it doesn't work. It's not a thing. He's just so used to it. He's just like, doesn't, like, she's literally, she's sitting here literally telling him all of these things of, like, things she's concerned about. Things that, like, she's like, hey, this is a problem. This is a problem. Like, hey, I have an issue with this. Instead of, like, changing or, like, accommodating her moving to him, He's just like, oh, you get used to it. Like, sleeping naked with a dog, I don't know that the, oh, it's, oh my god, it's a dog. It's a dog. It, I don't think it's a thing. I don't know. It's not something I ever do. I don't walk on my place naked. Ever. Unless, you know, I have dogs over, so that's when I get naked. No. But it's just, it's just fucking, it's just so fucking weird. And then he, like, sleeps with his dogs naked. I just, that's, that's very strange. Like, I don't, like, even Tarzan has, like, a little, like, loin cloth. So. That's pretty creepy. I don't know. And he's just like, oh, you'll get used to it. Yeah, you'll get used to it. It's like. Again, he thinks like since she's a porn star, like she's just like, yeah, it could be fine. That's what he feels about. Uh, that's like a spot eater. Hold oh, still. Oh, there you go, there you go, I got you. There you go, there you go, there you go. Alright, that's it though, sorry. I had to say my spot eater. I sleep under the covers. Well, that's the question. Huh? That's the question. What? What the question? the question. No, well, I don't know what that word is. Jim. Oh, was not the question. Oh, it was not a question. You said, "Oh, whatever." You, you, don't worry, buddy. Sounds to me like you're just trying to find faults again. Was not the question. I got you. Sounds to me like you're just trying to find faults uh, again. Yeah, it's what he does. He sues his last naked. It's really creepy. I'm got trying to find faults. Faults. Trying to find something wrong. How do you spell that? You don't remember? I wasn't listening. No, F A L S E. Oh, right, I remember now. 
Okay. <laughs> yes, I know what you're doing. <laughs> Being a smart ass again. Being a smart ass. I love that. What am I doing? You're being a smart ass again. <laughs> you already know how. I yeah, you do. Mm. Just like right now, you're being a smart ass. Like right now, you're being a smart ass too. Because <laughs> you're trying to get in here, you repeat everything, so you don't remember anything. Any of it. So you're trying to pick on me. You're trying to, you're trying to make it make it so you get to say, how do you like it? What? I see what he's trying to say. Also, I'm a smart ass because I don't remember. <laughs> no, you're a smart ass because you're doing it to pick on me. He's so self-centered. <clears throat> or do you want a finger in your butt? Do I want a finger in my butt? No. <laughs> I don't want a finger in my butt. You want my finger in your butt? You want my finger in your butt? Hell no. No? How about my dick? <laughs> no, I'm okay. No. Oh well. I didn't used to say that. didn't use to say you didn't want a finger. <laughs> well, we get a little, we get a little sidetracked on him. If it's your finger, okay, just don't let me know it's coming. What? I said, if, it, if it's your finger, okay, just don't let me know about it. Don't let me know when you're gonna do it. This is gonna happen, bro. Like... Oh, fuck. Dude, if you're gonna. If you know you're getting. Ah, oh, God, I just can't stand it. I'm not gonna do that. People just like. They're, you want boot shoot surprise? They're in like a kill zone. Like, <laughs> yeah. Like, they're in the kill zone. They don't just like. die. As long as it's you. Sandals? No. The things that what are them things that I called? I love wearing them. Oh, you should. You you have beautiful feet. Can't wait for summer. Yeah, I know. Me too. What are those things that I wear? Those gray ones. What are, what are those called? Prison shoes. <laughs> Yeah, okay. What, what are the other? What's the actual name for them? That is the actual. You remember? 
No, that's not the actual name. Crocs, yeah, Crocs. Yeah, I, I wear them as slippers now. Still, things are comfortable. How many times have you worn sandals then? No. That fucking game like is so Crocs. fucking hard. Oh my god. Yeah, yeah those kind of, these Crocs are alright. They're, they're comfortable still. They give it, they've got some bounce to them, so it's or some spring to them, so it's not so hard on the feet. As far as sandals, uh, I used to actually when I was in Washington State, I used to wear them a lot during the summertime. We'd go down, go out on the patio. Sit on the patio. Well, actually, from the time I got up, especially on the weekends, from the time I got up, I just wear sandals the whole day. Walk around in sandals. Go on the patio and sit and relax and enjoy the morning sun. And, and even when I went anywhere, I was always in. Shorts, tank top, and sandals. That's the main thing I wore. <laughs> Were they your party shoes? Mm, well, the, depending on if I was if I was drinking at home. Because well, uh, I lived with Paul and Laura at the time, and the kids. So, uh, me, Paul, and Laura have worn quite often, a lot. So, when we'd, when we'd have uh, the neighbors come over and we'd drink, that's what we'd wind up wearing. Then we could just kick our shoes off and put the sandals on and relax. Other than that, I'd wonder how I'd wear sneakers. At that time, I was wearing sneakers a lot. Except for at work. At work, I'd wear waterproof, waterproof boots. MJ is always barefoot. It's cute. She says it's because she grew up in the country. No, well, some people do wear... <clears throat> Just go barefoot. But hmm, not a lot of people do anymore because the ticks and shit in the grass, they pay more attention to them now than what they used to. Is anyone still here, like actually watching me play this game? I don't know who's still here. Did you party a lot? Yeah. Yeah, I did. No, I didn't. Washington State? Yeah, I did. You aren't insulting right, MJ, I didn't get... are you? Huh? You aren't insulting MJ, are you? No. No, why would, uh, why would I insult her? For wearing, for going being barefoot? And why would I insult her for that? Hell, I'd do that one when I was a kid. Knock it off, Jamie. When I was a kid, I'd go barefoot some. It's just they don't Did do it. In, in Washington State, watch. I did party a lot. I didn't. I didn't drink as much as what I drank later, like when I was back in Maine. What about yeah, after Washington drink. State? After Washington. <laughs> well, the first time I was on Washington State, I drank a lot then, or I partied a lot then. I didn't drink a lot, but I, I partied a lot. And the second time I was in Washington State, because I came back home for a year, 
then I went back out out there for another three and a half years. And the second time I was out there, I, I think I drank maybe a six pack. Uh, so Lauren, talking about partying, I think it's hilarious to me. Like it's hilarious because like just the way he is as a person, like if you're not like he definitely was that weird person in the background that just like stood around and watched her party and like was not involved in conversations or activities. Just kind of sat in the corner and was like, "Oh, darling." For sure. Because Pence was Pence was a partier. In high school I was not cool. I went to parties, but I was very much a just kinda of like I was there at I was there at parties, but I wasn't a partier in high school. I didn't find did that party. And in college I was a huge partier. But um no no I definitely calmed down. But it's just someone to like brag at fifty to twenty five year old about partying. And just knowing him as a person, like, he's not me, he definitely. It's just, that's a negative ghost right on that one. Um, definitely someone who sat in the corner, did nothing, observed, or like the parties were just a bunch of fucking dipshits in like an apartment complex doing nothing. Well, she's not a party. So, well, he's just trying to be cool. Two years on, I was focused on taking care of the kids because I had the kids with them a lot. Mm -hmm. My brother's kids, I had them a lot. I was focused on them and on on work. And yeah, why? Because they like spending time with me. I like spending time with them. And, and the mother had depression, and she slept a lot. And, so I I had kids like eighty percent of the time I was there. I mean the girls even had I got a two bedroom apartment so that the girls could have their own room. Sleep on the couch and I had my my bedroom. And Bud Bud would sleep right out either either right you with the girls that. or Huh? You never mentioned that. Okay, yeah, it's real quick. That sounds very fucking sketch because, like, we, I think early either this this uh, stream that we stream talked about Paula. We spend so much time together and all that stuff. And, and then I love how he uses the bomb as like a scapegoat. Like he like blames her. Like, oh, she has depression. Like she's a shitty person. Like that's prime example of like a predator predatory behavior. Of, like. Yeah, I, I swooped in to take care of the kids because the mom was a piece of shit. But for his own selfish needs, not because like he actually cared about these kids. Which they were good. Um, but yeah, it's, it, it's just it's just hearing him say this is like, fucking cringe, hardcore, disgusting. Um, Just to, this just thought that he like had them spend the night and stuff. Oh, I got them their own bedroom. Like, uh, it's, it's just all gross. Gosh. Alright. Anyways. Cool. And the kids? Oh, well. They were a big part of my life for... I don't know. I did not mention any of my nieces or nephews. Nephews. For a reason. Bud, that's when Do I had Bud. Talk to them or something. I haven't talked to him for a long time. I talked to Paul all the time. I actually talked to Paul this morning. Oh, how long? No, oh, God, I don't know. They they grown now. First, the youngest one's got her got her own kid and is married. Married, got married and divorced and. I don't know. I don't think she's remarried yet. And I know she got a boyfriend. I don't think she remarried or engaged or anything. I just haven't talked to him a long time. Okay. I was close to him when they were kids, but I, I came back to Maine and 
Oh, Christ, when was it? Like 2002? 2001 or 2002? Look at that. I think it was 2002 I came back. So it's been a long time. Yeah, you got out of Oh, that's like 20 years, dude. So, like, you got out of being a fucking creeper. You got fucking sent home. So, let's say you were at a party at Tony's, and I came in. What would I see you wearing? You probably would see me wearing jeans and a t shirt and work boots. That's fucking terrible. Still the work boots. Which is basically what I wear now, honey. Work boots hard. Heavy stuff. Oh my god. Make them look taller. Heavy stuff, yes. What the? No. Get Steel the toes and work boots. Fuck out of here. They didn't give me that They didn't give me that Oh, yes, no. <laughs> Is that what you would wear all the time at his parties? You would try something fancy or different? No, I'd never try anything fancy or different at Tony's. I'd just normally just work boots and jeans and a t-shirt. The only time I would ever dress up going over to Tony's would like, I was just like, yeah. Get be, up, comrade. If I went just over there for a, a Christmas party or a Thanksgiving during dinner or something like that, they'd, they'd invite me over for it a couple of times. I'd dress up nice then, but. Oh, shit. Oh, God damn it. Yeah, and then. When I'd go out to the karaoke bars, I'd dress up in nicer uh, clothes. Nice clothes. Jesus Christ. But I really haven't dressed up very much hardly at all for a long time. This will be a weird question, but I want to know. Not going more along, okay. I'll say that much. Wait, hold on first. So I don't drag documents from the White what House down the vacation home in Florida. What are nicer clothes? Like, oh, jeans that I haven't worked in. And sneakers or shoes and a dress shirt. Like a button up. Yeah. Well, even some pullovers. Okay. I've, I've, been, I've had some pullovers that were long sleeve and nice shirts, too. What? It's like when I went to school, oh, I used nice. to dress up every day. When I was in school, I dressed up every every day. They were just natural clothes to me. I wouldn't. You'd never see me in a t shirt in school. I always had button ups or. Pull over long okay, sleeves with collars. Like, he and... talks about this as like that's when he dressed nice. He like he like realizes like, <clears throat> he dressed nice from back then, so it's like he brings it up. When, so it was the, I think it was the second time that Did I was scared. Did you pop your collar? Did I what? Work boots and a t-shirt. Did you pop your collar? No, no, I wore a preppy. That's what they used to call them. The ones with the collars propped up. Call them preppies. Uh, I remember that back in the day. <laughs> that died a long time. Second time I went out to Washington in State. When I that was that. first got out there, I went to work for Kirby Vacuum Cleaner Company. I'd wear dress pants and dress shirt and, and shoe, boat shoes and. And actually, in school, I wore boat shoes a lot. Boat shoes and sneakers. Boat shoes. Sperry's. Boat shoes. They were they're dress up shoes. They're. Okay. 
they were nice shoes. Shoes. They were like, the style of Dom. Yeah, Sperry's. I mean, I'm assuming, <clears> like I'm a, like my pic. I picture in my head like it's talking about Sperry's or something like that, but I could be wrong. Sperry's. Lorne, my question is: Have you ever used spray on a woman when you eat? <laughs> Have I ever used spray on a woman when I eat? No. You, you'll be the first. You'll be the first. Oh my. Everything, yeah. I'm, I'm anxious for that. Mainly anxious. because it's you. Anxious? Too stressed out? And you and I have looked forward to it for a long time. Mm. More so than you. When did you start eating? You've asked me these questions before, honey. <clears throat> oh. I don't remember when asking was that. I, I think Sarah was the first one. That was when I was in the Air Force. I think she was the first one. I think I was like 20. I think I was 22. I think I was 22 when I started. Which flavor would you want to use? On you, uh, I think anything. Dude, like, you. Did, uh, why would you ask a fifth old man, like, when you start eating? Um, I, I don't know. I just. Maybe I'm just like. I think stupid. watermelon. I would not understand this question. These questions, if I was, I don't, I don't know. Okay. I like, I really like watermelon and yeah, watermelon. Yeah. And you and watermelon, dude. Watermelon. Can't find any better mixture than that. I don't know. It just doesn't seem like a very sexy. Oh God, sexy Jamie, you're so beautiful. Woman. Fucking morning characters. So precious. Are you touching it? Yes! Jesus! <laughs> How do you know? <laughs> that, was, that was messed up. <laughs> I put the blankets over me now. <laughs> put the dogs in the bed? Oh, great. <laughs> yeah, I got thinking about you and got me all hard. Are you touching it? They're right in my nightstand drawer right next to me. Are you touching it? No. Why not? Because I'm not in the mood. Oh. Okay. If you were here, would you be in the mood? If my life is like it is now, no. Well, honey, I'm trying to make your life better. I seriously am. Fucking loud to you in the background. Oh, guys, that that's just that's that's why that's one of the reasons that I'm going going to be going over the teardown house just about every day that I can, so I can hurry and get that done and. And focus only on the business. So, this is a dickhead. Like, okay, hold on. Sorry, one second. This call. This ain't the dickhead that, like, he, the teared out house thing. Like, he literally was told, don't take the uh, cabinet. Was it the cabinets? Or the, um, <laughs> the countertops. This asshole did that anyways. He was told not to. 
like he was given f- you know full access to everything else like we just just don't fuck with the kitchen but he like did anyways and he was just like told to fuck off completely fuck off upstairs wasn't he wasn't that the whole story i mean i could be wrong i just remember like seeing that on some place where it was like he fucked that entire thing up and then the whole thing with like the the woman with the that to tear down, not to tear down house, but the, the remodeling thing, the model, the other one, he, um, he fucked that up, because, like, she was like, hey, do this how I'd like it, because I'm paying you to do it, so, like, please do things my way, um, and he was like, oh, I don't, I, why you just, you're a woman, you don't know anything about construction or construct, you know, carpentry or anything, you know, and she was like, uh, no, I, I'm just basically just like, yeah, I, I would like you to do things this way. And he said, nah, I'm good. So I'm doing it. So I think she was like, okay, fuck off. Fuck off upstairs. Pretty sure that's how it went. But could be wrong. Please, please, uh, please correct me if I'm wrong. But from what I've gathered, that was what it was. So, <laughs> Fucked, fucked. He fucked everything up with that. So, yeah. Interesting. I was like, oh, the you know, tear down house is gonna be our golden ticket to the chocolate factory. Okay. I'll focus on the business and and getting the house built. Lord, I just squeezed my tits. Mm. I wish I could squeeze your tits. I wish I could suck on your tits. You lick your nipples. Did you have any milk come out? <coughs> Ew. A little bit. Oh. Lick it for me. Like it. Your tastes like milk. God fucking. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> you can't you were here, milk. honey. I could be, I could be sucking the milk out of your tip. Then I wouldn't have to have coffee. Ew, what? Oh, so much blood to be sucking on your nipples right now. Fill my milk. Yeah, for your milk. And because, and because I want to suck on your tits. Jamie. Lord, yeah. pretend we are in a studio apartment. That wouldn't even be as big as that trailer. That would be as big as it's that'd be as big as this bedroom. As I master bedroom. S H H S S S H do it. Okay. Pretending we were in a studio apartment. That's all I got. That's all you got? Yeah. Oh, what you're in right now? What you're in right now? In your hotel room? Huh? There's a bed. In your hotel room? What? In 
your hotel room? Uh, nice. Is that why you're trying to tell me that? I'm back at MJ's. Got him. Oh, you're back at Maggie Joe's now? What? Yes. Oh, I didn't know that, honey. Thank you. I was gonna say. I thought you were still in a hotel room. I'm in a studio apartment. Huh? Oh, you mean because of your bedroom? Right? Never mind. Not in the mood anyway. <laughs> well, you kind of got me lost on what you were saying there, honey. It's fine. It happens, Lauren. Get over yeah. it. <clears throat> I'll leave you to jacket, okay? Um, well, you, li listen, you, you can think about this. I came out to get some more coffee, and my cock is hard and flopping all around. Ew, that is not a what? That's... I said I came out to get some more coffee. And my cock is hard and flopping all around. It's just like a drunk, not even drunk, but like just this 50 year old flopping. Okay. Like, uh, if only you were here. Why would a 25 year old find that job? I don't know. Uh, I would love to slide my cock in you. I would love to slide my cock in you, pussy. But before I did that, I would have to eat your pussy. And lick your clit. Does it have a bed? Oh, God. It does. This stuff is so gross. And you would be laying on your back, your legs spread wide open, oh, my face between your legs, my tongue sliding up your pussy. Sucking your clip in. What? And pulling him out. Uh, my mind is going here. <laughs> uh, I said I would be sucking on your clip and slowly pulling them back out. Fuck. And I'd slide my tongue inside your pussy. I'd wiggle my tongue around inside of you. Okay, we'll just walk in. Lorne, can I let you know? He can hear you. Okay, honey. Hey, Lauren. Hey, Will. Sorry to inter interrupt. I was... <laughs> Sorry, you guys go ahead and do, do what you gotta do there. Okay, all right. Um, I'll talk to you later, honey. I love you. Okay, bye. Bye. Sorry, I asked for his help. It's okay, are you alright? I'll be fine. I'm here if you want me, honey, okay? It's fine. The preceding announcement has been paid for by the- Lone World Order. Alright, I'm gonna play this one call. Um, a little bit. Seriously? I'll probably fall. I'll probably get off for this call. This, yeah, once this, uh, 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 once this, Okay, how did your night go? Fine. I don't think Roy came home last night. He went to help last night and he must have stayed at our house. Neat. If you're tired and want to go to sleep, honey, I understand. Are you tired? Hey. If you were here, we could kick the doors off the bed and I could eat my breakfast. We're definitely going to have to have your king-size bed in our new house. Alright. 
why don't you go to sleep on me? I feel like I'm keeping you awake. We can have time together after you've gotten sleep. I love you, my precious angel. Yep, I'm definitely your ass over to getting in love with you, my goddess. Okay. Class was interesting today. I'll tell you about it tonight. I'm in the shed trying to organize some of this crap. Hello. There you are. Okay, now I can hear you. <clears throat> How are you? Fine. I'm surprised you called me. Why? Nice. Who's you? Oh, Welcome to 707. That's why I was surprised that you called me. Real time, bro. Are they on again today? He is so fucking stupid. You said they didn't. No, they can't be on today. They just won yesterday. They just won nationals yesterday. So they're not on. Gotta catch up here, huh? Oh, UC lost to, uh, UC lost to the Alabama. Anyway. Actually, unfortunately. Anyway. Mm. I know you want me to say roll tide. Yeah, roll tide. Yeah. I'm not calling you bro, forget it. Hold on a second, honey. No, I'm just saying it out of celebration. Roll tide, bro. Oh, okay. Oh. Oh shoot! Like, like, reborn definitely seems like a little bit of 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 a little Wow, you turned turn uh, the fucking heat down hunting here. Damn. 80 degrees in here. Yep, I had an interesting meeting. It's hot in here. I had the, had the heat up 80. No, I ate my dinner earlier. No, I mean, it's like, no, obviously not. I'm not like, 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 I had, I had two chicken breasts and some, uh, potato puffs. So bad. And the dogs, the dogs both had one chicken breast, ground up, and some gravy stuff that mom sent over. Mixed in with the dog food. Which I had to change the dog food. Okay, don't so it's eating pedigree now. Because the vet told me to um, use dog food with only one that that's, doesn't have a lot of color in it. And the pedigree has orange and green and, and brown. Because uh, well, the green is shaped like a, it's supposed to be peas. The orange is supposed to be carrots. And the brown is supposed to be meat. Yeah, that's cheap food. Oh my god. Well, that, that's what I've always fed. I've, um, actually, I've, I've used that since uh, since I had Bud. That's all I ever fed Bud. Why? He has no self worth. He has like literally no self worth. Why? Of, like anything he does. Because he seemed to like it alright. Yeah, he seemed to like it. Yeah, well, I mean, he doesn't. He can't. He has no choice. And I knew. I knew it was had a good name. So, and the best never argued with me about it before. And now the tell me just feeding him. No, as opposed to a food with just one color. No. And now they're telling me that, well, because I've told them before what what I've fed them, uh, and they never say anything. Yeah. But they said, he, he said that uh, 
If you this fucking game, you think that might be why what's game making game their ears do that? It's not ear mites. It, it's he thinks it's the color in the food. There you go. Exactly. So, so I get the medication and mix it all up in it, and Sadie took forever eating up. She just wanted, well, she wanted to tease Roscoe, but also she kept looking at the door to see if Roy was going to come in or not. It was like it took her ever to, forever to eat her food. It's like he's not willing to, like, realize. What brand of food but. are you using now? Gravy train. <clears throat> the only thing they had at Walmart that was one color. I'm just like gonna fucking freak out. One color. I guess if I. Maybe go to a pet um, store. That's like the worst. That's like well, the worst. That's worst. When I went on, I told mom that the only thing I could find in there was gravy train. She said, well, we should have gone to Tractor Supply, and I said, oh, fuck, I didn't even think about going to Tractor Supply. One color is fucking So next time I'll go up to Tractor Supply and look. I don't understand, like, how this fucking human being can be seen. But, um... The gravy train. Not getting my truck inspected tomorrow. list of suggested brands as well. What's that, honey? He's willing to... You can ask the vet for a list of suggested brands as well. He's yeah, I could. I could give him a call tomorrow. Thousands of dollars on a wedding ring for a See what they have a have for a list there. I wish I would have thought about asking him that when I was there. His actual real life dogs. I'm not getting my I'm not getting my truck inspected tomorrow. They call me today and why? They call me today and Chris Evans. They said that they put a, a they had a, a, they had two buses in the garage and and uh, two other vehicles in in two other bays and another vehicle that they just put in the in the bay yesterday, thinking that it wouldn't take them long to fix that, so that way they'd be able to get my vehicle and my truck in tomorrow to to inspect it. And when they put it in there, they realized it was going to take a lot more than what they thought it was going to take to fix it. So, and they can't move it out of the out of the bay. Oh, well, so, it's all fixed. Uh, my truck, my truck is yeah, just just about. I was going to fix it today, but or the rest of it today. So then it isn't. Well, no, because I got to do the rocker panel. Which I was gonna do today before I took over there tomorrow, but and then they did you now, say it was? Huh? And then why did you say it was? Because the it is except for the rocket panel. The rocket panel is the only thing I have to fix and I won't take not gonna take very long. But I was gonna do that today before I took it over there tomorrow. But what they called me, I don't don't have to rush, so I'll wait until Friday to fix it because Supposed to be warmer on Friday. So, but I get a reschedule for Tuesday. They rescheduled me for Tuesday to for the, to inspect it. So, which would be all right. It'll give me time to sand it too. Prime up. So I can do that Friday too. Then I can put the wheel well covers back on it and make it look halfway decent again. Yeah, and then, <coughs> then the, the lady in Madison said if she wanted me to work tomorrow, then she'd have to come pick me up. Oh. So and she just sent me a message back uh, about an hour ago. Letting you know that she's not going to be able to come pick me up, so Dude, uh, just, like, okay, just okay, wait okay. till next Wednesday to do it. If, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. 
it's like literally all excuses. It's all fucking excuses with him. Like everything is just like an excuse why he can't do this. He can't do this. He can't do that. Anything. Everything is an excuse for him. Like, but he wants her to fucking run up there for him. But like he can't work his truck because his truck doesn't work. Um, like he can't take the dogs. You know he can't even like feed his own fucking dogs properly. Like. Fuck. Like, I just don't understand like how he doesn't fucking understand any of this stuff is not fuck it's all fucking like not plausible. Fuck sakes, oh yeah, we're gonna lose. Okay, we're gonna lose this <laughs> I might have to get off. I just don't I just have no idea how he doesn't understand like any of this stuff. Like how do you not understand like you can't bring a whole person like you can barely take care of yourself. You can't you can't have a job can't like get your car inspected like you can't do any of these things but you want a whole ass other person to come up there leave their entire career ah just oh all these things if we get my truck inspected so oh, this fucking game and more i get a so i'll have to work for part of the day because i gotta bring doors down the next wednesday the two from the teardown house So, what kind of ice cream are you eating? God damn, uh, Fudge Rebel. Fudge Rebel. It's just the same. Brand. Yeah, it's Fudge Rebel. Fudge Rebel. It's basically a chocolate swirl. It's just another it's name for chocolate swirl. Oh, uh, great value. I can buy it in the gallon for five bucks. I usually put peanut butter in the look. But I did. Yeah, it's real ice cream. Okay, that's enough for me. I usually put peanut butter in with it and mix it all up. But I didn't this time. I was just hot and wanted to get. Something in me cool down. I could get ice cream for free, like the world's greatest, um, the world's number one chocolate ice cream. I could get for free. So Paul works at Giffords. He gets he gets some of his. Uh, a lot of his ice cream for free because he works it. He actually makes a lot of the ice cream. So why would you get it for free? Because if I asked him to, I he'd get me a half gallon. With the funds. So is it, it, it founded September? But I never asked him to. Hold on. Giffords was founded in 1938, September 11th. Um, it was it's a defunct. Uh, no, Giffords Ice Cream of Maine. Giffords. Hold on, is there a link for them? Mm. You know, just some little dipshit place. How's it the best ice cream in the world? What? He usually gets, uh, he usually brings ice cream over to birthday parties and, and, uh, well, like Thanksgiving, he brought over a half gallon of ice cream and, um, it was a mom's birthday party. He bought over a couple of half gallons. But yeah, Giffords was rated uh, the number one chocolate ice cream in the world. I taste so it. What about the class? The class. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Fucking. 
fucking Sean. Well, what do we? When everybody took the turn talking about stuff that's that's going on with them through the week, and I get to mine and uh, I met I told them stuff that was going on with me through the week, and then I mentioned you because because where I had, uh, hadn't told Stacy yet, but I told. So, but if I tell Sean, then Sean will, wind, will tell Stacy, so I won't have to. My lawyer is probably saying something to her anyway, too. But um, uh, Sean, Sean said so. Well, I I told him. I said that. I said Jamie said she'd get on video, but she doesn't feel the need to to give her information out yet. And Sean says, he says, so she'll give you, she won't give you her information. She was acquainted with these these other people that were trolling you on the Internet. I, I said, Sean, I said, she was acquainted with them. She's no longer acquainted with them. So she changed her, even changed her number so that they couldn't get a hold of her. And then, then he just repeated himself three times over. I was like, Sean, look, I know what you're doing, all right? I said, you can you can stop repeating yourself like that because I understand exactly what you're saying. I said, but I trust her. I said, I believe in her and I trust her. And I, I really don't appreciate you trying to say otherwise, say anything otherwise against it, but to try to get me to not trust her. And he he says, he says, well, it just make, it doesn't make any sense. He says, you, you uh, what what um uh what do you say? What I'm concerned about is, uh, he says, uh, I don't I don't think you understand what what my concern is. And I I said, yeah, I do. I said I understand what your concern is. Your concern that she's from the internet and that she's going to put content on the internet about me to keep the to keep this stuff going on the internet about me. And he said, yeah. I said, I'm not concerned about it. I said, she, she doesn't have anything to do with those people. I said, she doesn't even go on the Internet or on YouTube. And and he was looking at the YouTube channels that were about me. He he, he counted them. He, he said, right now, there's there's 327 videos about you. Uh, I, I said, what do you want me to do? I said, I didn't do them. He said, no, but they're all about you. I, I, they've been about me for years. Not a damn thing I can do until I get a civil lawyer to get get old YouTube, take it off there. He said, but more my concern is, is that is that she'll use something to put on the internet uh, to to feed, keep feeding these people content. I said, well, she's not doing that. She doesn't go on, on YouTube, and she doesn't have anything to do with them with them people. And he said, I don't think you understand what my concern is. I said, I understand your concern. And he he said, so your mind is made up and you're, not, you're, uh, you're going to stay right with her. I said, yeah. I said, my mind is made up. She hasn't do any, done anything for me not to trust her or to not trust her. And, and he says, all right, nothing I can do then. And uh, he asked the class what they thought, and they and the class threw in their opinion, which, which – they they didn't they didn't really have anything to say one way or the other. They didn't really no. They really didn't know, don't know much about it. But um, what did they say? Well, there, there was a couple that that said you might want you might want to cut your cut your losses while you, while you're um, while you can and. And before you get hurt, and and then the, a couple other ones say, well, she might she might be justified in not giving her information. They said, they said she's if she doesn't if she doesn't have to give any information out right now because she's not here yet right now. And I said, well, the fact of the matter is, she said she would give her information before she got up here. 
I said, she said that she would show herself on video. She's not, and I, and I told him that, I said, she's not, she's not playing with me. She's not playing the game. She's going to come up here. If you, you guys haven't spent the time with her, so none of you know exactly what's going on. And then Sean, uh, Sean just said the same thing again. Well, you, you might have made it up, so, so I just don't think you understand what my concern is. I said, I understand. Then we went to the next guy, and uh, he um, has a his, – his girlfriend is living in Oklahoma right now. She was living up here in Maine with him, but she wanted, she wanted to move away from the area that they were moving in. And she, she wanted to go down to Oklahoma, which I don't know why because it's like – well, less in Oklahoma than there is anywhere, but um, but she he leased the house and she moved down there, and he's he's getting everything prepared to move down there, and I I can't remember. Oh, he was tossing it back and forth in his mind of you know if something was gonna happen bad uh, before he got a chance to to move down there and. You know that he had in his head that uh, the probation officer, that probation was going to tell him that he couldn't move down there. He said something always when when I have things going good, something always bad happens. And one of the guys said, which hit him, hit me just perfect. <laughs> one of the guys says, uh, he, he says, you know, you think you think that this. Thing here is going to bad happen to you, but if you don't take the chance of this thing bad, you could be losing out on the greatest thing that ever happened to you. And I said, bingo, right there. I said, that's exactly what I'm trying to tell you guys. If I if I were to let her go, and then just because I think something bad might happen, then I could be losing the greatest thing that ever happened to me. I said, so that right there is my answer to, to all you guys of why I'm not letting her go. None of them said anything. Well, yeah, one of them did. One, uh, the one that that said it, um, said, uh, he said, he said, yeah, you are right. I do understand that. So it's, it's like it, it was. Uh, Sean irritated me. He irritated me a lot because he knows that we're gonna be having a conference with my lawyer. So he wanted to get out of me what he could get out of me today. When is that? I don't know yet. My lawyer hasn't hasn't uh, said anything, but he was going to send Sean and and Stacy an email. He already sent Stacy an email because he sent Stacy an email at the same time that I was on the phone with him. But I don't I don't know if he's sent Sean an email yet or not. I'm figuring he probably sent one to him today. Okay, folks. Uh, long stream. It was a great stream. Long, fun stream. Everybody had a great time. With every everyone here. I I am so fucking exhausted from that game. And awesome, Lord. I have to be up in the oh, excuse me, in the morning. No, excuse me. I am tired. Oh, oh gosh, yeah, fuck. Between the game and Lauren, dude, those two fucking make me tired. Uh, thanks for everyone for joining in. Great fucking stream. We're yeah, almost six fucking hours. Oh my god. Um, yes, it was a good freaking time. A lot of fun. Had a great time. I'm exhausted. Uh, so yeah, be on the lookout for next week. Uh, be at Bass Raffioli doing the uh, Mike Popovich uh, part two catalog, but uh, yeah, it was, it was good fun, fun time. Um, yeah, so we also definitely need to catch up some more Lauren stuff on my channel, but uh, yeah, we're we're good now. But yeah, you guys see Hell Let Loose? <laughs> Go out and buy it, have fun. But realize it is a hard fucking game. Um, you see me dying like crazy, uh, so. Yeah, I'll go sub to Euro, sub to Jorn, uh, unsub from Heelborn. 
but yeah thanks everyone for joining uh i'm gonna try to get some sleep a little bit here and there before i go out boating and fishing and having a good time and talking lauren with a friend of mine but uh yeah mike pence will be signing out you guys have a lovely rest of your august and we'll be in september getting into fall time which is my favorite time of the year uh so love it all right guys never still watching or watching the future good night